Hey, welcome back to The Past is Alive. Thank you guys all for tuning in once again. Tonight, I've got a special video for you and a product that may look familiar to you from a few months ago when I opened up one of these hobby boxes made and produced by um, a guy by the name of Scott. I feel bad because I called him Steve, I think. I referred to him as Steve in a recent video, and he has not let me forget about it. <laughs> but we have... The Hobby Box, a box full of mystery packs and full of baseball card goodies, as you may remember from the last time we cracked one of these open. We actually have two tonight, one that we are going to crack open for certain participants, and then one that is specialized for me. And I have not even taken a gander inside of this one. As you can see, the tape is still intact and is a special, authentic TPIA sticker on the front, which is freaking awesome. So we're going to open this one up secondly. And then lastly, another surprise in this white bubble mailer that I have no idea what is inside of there. I have not even peeked in there, but I'm pretty excited about that. We're saving that for last per Scott's orders. And these are uh, actively for sale right now on eBay. There's a link down below in the description. They are 50 bucks plus shipping on eBay, and Scott has sold quite a bit of these since the last time that uh, we did this. I think he sold 50 plus of these hobby boxes. So, very, very good feedback uh, on these thus far. So, check them out if you have not already. But I did peek inside of this one. Very, very well done. Nice product. Kind of a one-of-a-kind mystery box type deal uh, where you get an entire like hobby box full of packs. And we have a note right on top. We're going to dive into this one first. Very, very nicely done, Scott. I can't say that enough, but we have a note here. And a ton of Passes Alive stickers, which is freaking awesome. I'll be sending these off to people that are participants in this rip. And it looks like we have a Nolan Ryan Beckett underneath all those freaking colorful sweet stickers but before we get started let's check out what scott put in this note it's a, a long one but we're going to read this off right now this is first i again want to thank you for following or for allowing me to showcase my product on your channel a couple months ago it really made all the difference in the world you commented in that video how saturated the mystery pack market is and that's exactly why i thought this would help believe it or not when I was looking for a channel to contact, I didn't look at subscribers. And additionally, in your case, I didn't put two and two together to know that your brother has a popular channel as well. I didn't even notice the number of subscribers you had until after you replied back saying you'd be interested. What did get me was the way you were not only knowledgeable about the cards I grew up with, but the way you spoke about them is the way I feel about them. I get it. They're just baseball cards. Maybe to some of us, they were an escape a safe place from the stupid crap the adults in our lives were doing and dragged us into at times. And until we got older, that was life. Oddly enough, it's still an escape as I found out when quarantine hit in the middle of opening my own business. My cards again became a refuge. Fast forward to me checking out your channel regularly, interacting with some of your viewers, being part of the family. It became apparent quickly how much people enjoy the content. It became apparent quickly how good you are, including the viewers, and sincerely thanking them even during a stream in which you were talking about product making jokes, observations, and telling stories about past related events. Then the whole six days of darkness hit. I was legit bummed about a dude losing his channel and all his hard work that I'll likely never meet. So much so that I wanted to do what I could to help him figure this out. But I wasn't the only one and that is what really solidified in my mind that you got something special here. Our world today is selfish and doesn't promote true caring for one, for one another. I'm not going to go too deep. Again, I get it. It's toys and baseball cards, or is it? It seems like a good dude. Uh, putting off good vibes has attracted a multitude of similar-minded people that are willing to do something unusual. That is, give their time to this channel regularly and to be willing to stick their neck out for one another without financial reward. That is in direct opposition to most other things in our lives and something to be celebrated in my book. So here I go. What you're about to enjoy is a hybrid of the hobby box. My thank you to John and a tip of the hat to this channel and its subscribers. As I learned with the hobby box, it's not the product that was a clear-cut star. John, without you working your magic on it, it was still just a black box and green packs. The hobby boxes are still for sale. <laughs> Shameless plug. Sorry, I guess I'm holding this real far away. Hopefully you can see and read along with me. These are the one and only TPIA edition box. Thank you, John, for prov providing this place for us to come and enjoy. <laughs> Scott, a.k.a. Steve. 
Wow, I don't even know what to say, man. Thank you very, very much for your kind words, Scott. That is very, very cool of you, and um, spot on with everything you said there, man. I'm glad that we can all uh, rejoice and uh, take refuge in baseball cards and toys and relive some of these awesome uh, memories and times. But let us get down to it. Check them out. The link down below. Grab yourself one of these Holly Boxes. 50 bucks plus shipping. And you are not going to regret it. We had some awesome hits last time. I remember pulling an Eckersley Auto out of one of these packs. And just all kinds of freaking rookie cards were inside of there and everything else. And let me get caught up on the chat here real quick. I apologize. Um, Mikey G 99 says, John, here's a few burritos for you. <laughs> Mikey, thank you very much. Ironically enough, Mikey is very first up in tonight's rip. And right after that, Rippy Vintage, Scott says, John, you're one of the best. Much love, brother. Scott, thank you so much, man. Scott actually just posted a video a little bit ago. I don't know if there's mods in here that can post a link to Scott's channel, Ripping Vintage, posted a video regarding a 97 Zenith football box that he picked up recently. Scott is definitely a great dude, as well as Mikey G and all of you guys. Thank you for being here again. And Scott, a.k.a. Steve, for making this rip possible. And look at all these freaking stickers. I have uh, not had any Passes Alive stickers until right now. So let's pull all these out. There's plenty <laughs> to go around. So if you get one of these, make sure that you are bombarding your town with these stickers on gas pumps, on stop signs, everywhere else. Stick them wherever anybody would be annoyed. <laughs> and look, we have the, uh, what, this is 92 January Beckett with Nolan Ryan on the cover. I remember getting this when it came out, probably at like a Shop and Save or a Giant Eagle. And Steve Avery and Tom Glavin gracing the back of the cover. Man, I would have hated that and been pissed off about that as a kid. Because <laughs> we hated the Braves because they always crushed our buckos. But Nolan Ryan kind of with a stink face. But uh, he's definitely allowed to have a stink face. Paul L's posting links. Thanks, Paul. I appreciate that, man. Zach R says, love the channel. I never really comment much, but I love the, the content and being able to afford and rip the same cards as you do. Zach, thanks, man. Thank you for being here. And I hope to pass these along too. Uh, you guys as well. These cool, freaking sweet stickers, man. Thanks so much. But let us get down to it. we got a whole bunch of green packs here and some random card packs. 92 Pinnacle Jumbo. I don't see those every day. Ripken on the pack cover. 89 Bowman looking for Griffey rookie card. These are randomly tossed in as extras, I guess. And 91 Bowman. Scott must know me all too well. <laughs> With 91 Bowman, I'm the ultimate 91 Bowman Mega Collector. Sammy Thunder says, I just sold a Sosa rookie card to pay for this super chat. <laughs> Sammy, thank you, man. I appreciate that. Very, very kind of you for parting way to the Sosa rookie to pay for this. And thank you for being here. Sammy just posted a video a little bit ago. I think it was a, um, what was it, a Reindeer Studios giveaway. Sammy's getting close to 100 subs. I think he's at 84 right now. Check him out if Paul would be so kind. Paul with the, with the link to Sammy's channel. Thank you, Paul. You are the man. We got some more packs hidden down underneath. 90 Upper Deck. 91 Upper Deck. This is the find the Hank Aaron Auto. A guy I was talking to recently in West Virginia said um, he bought out a dude that had a hardware store that had tons and tons of cases in the back of his store, and he ripped an entire case in 91 Upper Deck and found the Hank Aaron autograph. It's freaking crazy. Uh, so it does exist. It is a real thing. And 93 Upper Deck Series 1. This definitely takes me back. I used to buy so many of these as a kid, and these ones don't feel bricked up. Freaking sweet. I want to pull a Nigel Wilson out of there. Or David Need, second year card. Because they were in screw down cases back when I was a kid. <clears throat> Would you think anything less? So we're dividing these up randomly. we got four participants. Corey, who is not with us, surprisingly. <laughs> and knowingly, since it's a Monday night. Mikey G, Scott, Ripping Vintage, and CNM Collectibles, who I think is live right now. So we won't be seeing him. Probably not right now. Paul Elson, I think Lori Nelson has owned at least one of those stickers. Yeah, I think Lori definitely is owned one of these stickers. Um, so these hit packs, we have hit one and two. There's two hits per box. We're going to have to uh, maneuver these around. <laughs> All the rookies hot pack, 84 tops hot pack. All right, so what we're going to do is shuffle all of these around. Nigel Wilson is from my hometown. So every single box is well thought out and this is what you can expect with your box I'm gonna flip all these upside down and we're just gonna randomly shuffle 
these so that there's, I think, five packs per spot. Sorry, I'm an absolute sloppy mess right now. <laughs> there's too many packs. I can't keep track of everything. So we'll put this off to the side. All right. Hit packs are freaking flying all over the place. This is for Corey, who abandoned us tonight. But we'll get right down to it. Mikey G is in here already. <laughs> Big races. How did I miss the alert for this break? I'm shuffling these around. That's a lot of packs. It definitely is. Every single one of these boxes have like 22 plus packs. Just a sea of green. But all right. I'm just going to randomly pick out five of these. Um, I flipped them all upside down. At least I think I did. So, Mikey G, you are up first, buddy. Hopefully, we'll find you a Paul O'Neill relic or something along those lines. Force your name on the screen here, along with uh, the face of everyone's favorite. We'll just pick out five random ones. Brian Smith says, this channel really, <laughs> this channel really sucks. <laughs> Hit the like button, everyone. That was very kind of you to say that, Brian. I appreciate that, man. There's another hit pack. We'll hide that down below. Just more proof that this channel sucks. Brian Smith is a good dude. Good of you to be with us, man. Thank you very, very much for saying so. Um, we got five packs here. Mikey G, let's get down to it after all my rambling. Good luck to you, man. <laughs> the past is gone. Long live the past is alive. Joe B, the celebrity, is in the house. Always good to have you with us. How's a fool like me getting on a break like this? I just posted this randomly. This is a free break uh, for people that are on Patreon. The very first pack, it looks like we have Manny Ramirez rookie card. Brian, thank you, man. I appreciate that you saying so. Uh, what do we have in here? We have something hidden inside of here. It's a Pac-Man pin. It's pretty cool. Reminds me of Chomp on this, if you guys remember that video from the early 2000s. Pac-Man vintage pin. Pretty freaking sweet. Manny Ramirez rookie card in the very first pack in a Maddox 89 Bowman. Paul L., that's all good, man. I don't believe he has a channel, man. I don't think Brian does not have a channel, not yet at least. I Maybe mean, one of these days he will when he completes the 73 top set. <laughs> not surprised John is more excited by a Pac Man pin than, than the baseball cards. That Pac Man pin was sweet, though, Sammy. You got to admit, 89 Bowman, Greg Maddox leading us off. And a Sheffield silver signature. Check this out. Third year Albert Pujols. That's a nice one. I've never seen that one before. It's opening day from 2003. Future Hall of Famer Paul Hulse has pulled his rookie card out of 01 Bowman last Tuesday. That was pretty freaking epic. Remember this card? Kent Herbeck and Kirby Puckett. A suggestive pose, but not more suggestive than Mike Piazza and Eric Caros and their very, very close friendship. <laughs> Canseco and the Big Head cards, as we called them as kids from early 90s. Score, Busted Wally, rookie card. That's pretty awesome. The 85 Tops design, but I've never seen... This particular one before must be from last year, from a couple of years ago. Busted Wally. That's pretty freaking sweet. Garbage Pail Kids, I guess. Kenny Lofton rookie card. Very, very nice. 91 Bowman. One of the nice star rookies you can find in 91 Bowman if you decide to hoard it like myself. That's a nice one there. Spencer Howard from 2021 Tops rookie card. And the final hit, or card of the first pack, which is a hit. Manny Ramirez, 92 Tops rookie. Nice one there. Like it a lot. Jay's Big Mac PC channel. What is happening, man? Watch Free Guy today. You should love that movie, John. I have not seen that yet. Is it good? I guess I should uh, go check that out sometime soon. I heard, I've heard about it. I know it's Ryan Reynolds. Craig B. Cards in the house. Good luck, y'all. Craig B. Thank you for popping in here and joining us. And not the imposter, Craig B. I know Craig B. does have a channel. And he's been actively posting videos again. So if you are not subscribed to him... Don't be a knucklehead, and make sure you do so. I know Paul will post a link to Craig B's channel. Go and check him out, and if you have any Ryan Sandberg stuff, take it and send it his way immediately. Especially the oddball stuff that he might not have. He is always looking to get more Rhino merch. Appreciate that, Craig. Right off the bat here, Royals card for CNM, who's not in here. Royal family with Wally Joyner, Greg Jeffries, and... George Brett, right in the middle. Craig B is driving the car right now. Well, be careful, man. It's kind of raining out pretty hard here. Not sure how it is there. Team 2000, Travis Fryman from 92 Pinnacle. Andrew Jones, fan club from 02 Donruss. 
Something shot out of the pack. You know, I thought that I felt something shoot out of there. That sounded filthy, but uh, I think it was a pin somewhere. We'll find it, I guess, in the sea of green. There's Bobby Bo. Insert from 93 deck, Home Run Heroes. After he was traded away to the Buccos, I was pretty bummed out when that happened. Joe DiMaggio. Wheaties card. Never seen this one before. That's pretty sweet. I have no idea what year that's from. Very, very nice. McGuire's 92 Ultra. Curtis Pride and Sean Green. Um, on 94 Tops Prospect card. I used to love those ones. Jeter has a card in this set, too. Looks exactly like that. And look at this. Cecil Fielder and Corey Snyder rookie cards. Corey Snyder was such a hot card back in the day, and maybe not this one in particular, but his, his 86 Donruss was at one point worth more than Canseco's. It was pretty valuable. But Cecil Fielder and Corey Snyder rookies for Mikey G. And look at this. A 90 Upper Deck Griffey Jr. portrait. Very, very nice. Second pack in. We got three more to go from Mikey G. And Brian Smith says, rewatched your rookie card vids a week ago and got inspired. Started my rookie boxes last week. Brian, that's awesome, man. Hopefully it inspires you to make a video about it. That's, that's freaking sweet. I hope more people will do that. I almost want to uh, make an update video to that because I've been buying so many rookies lately. Picking off some of these other ones. That's awesome, though. Love to hear that. Yeah, make us a video, man. i got to check that out. I'm sure you have some decent ones. Brian Smith just sent me a freaking awesome box full of modern rookies, none of which I had. That was really, really cool. Thank you again for that, Brian. Look at this. 89 Bowman, the Alomar family. Senior, Sandy, and Roberto. The TV screen. I used to like that card a lot, along with the Griffey Jr. and Senior. Ozzy Smith's 91 Leaf, card that I've never seen before. With Joe Morgan, Willie McCovey, and Frank Robinson. 82 Donruss MVPs. That's pretty awesome. I like that one a lot. Dante Bichette's 91 Stadium Club. Those were high dollar cards back in 91. Five bucks a pack. Robin Ventura, second year card from 90 Tops. Roy Oswalt. This is like, I don't know, looks like a cognac from 2011. That's pretty sweet. Kevin Mitchell, Jay Buhner, and Griffey. 93 Predict Pacific Sock Exchange. These were a subset, 93 Predict. Uh, they had a whole bunch of these cards in there for, different, for pretty much almost every team, I think. Albert Bell insert. Ted Williams, best series of the future of 92 Upper Deck. And a Tom Seaver, 84 Tops, in pretty freaking awesome condition. Very, very nice. Third pack is in the books from Mikey G. And on to number four. And let me get a big raise ball cards and auction says, Watch My Name is Earl. Ended with mall rats. <laughs> that is freaking awesome. My name is Earl. Jason Lee, the star of that show, Jason Lee, who I think still owns stereo skateboards. Jason Lee was uh, ahead of his time, man. He quit the life of a pro skateboarder to be an actor. And he was definitely, uh, him and Christian Slater, both. Christian Slater was, uh, he was on pace to be like the next Tony Hawk back in the Gleaming the Cube days. But, uh, yeah, decided to go with the acting route instead. But thank you, uh, for that. I appreciate it. Let me get caught up on some more of these here. Santa Collectible says, sneaking in a super chat between boxes of this two-case Allen and Ginter break. LOL. Have fun. Cena, we mentioned you earlier, man. Thank you for popping in here. Um, just to show your support, man. I saw you were live and I didn't think you'd be in, but... Check out CM Collectibles and also Big Ray's Ball Cards and Auctions if you have not checked him all out already. But the fourth pack in, Frank Thomas, 92 Pinnacle Machado. Not familiar with this card in particular, but it's a Topps Chrome with the 87 Topps design. Looks like it's like a refractor almost. 30th anniversary of 87. It's pretty sweet. Very first card, 86 Topps. I just started putting that in a binder today. Pete Rose, first base and manager card. Very, very nice. I think I have a complete set of those from 86, so pretty stoked about that. I uh, can't beat that for five bucks. Canseco's 91 Leaf. Look at that. Chipper Jones rookie card out of nowhere, just randomly thrown in there. Pretty freaking sweet. It's 91 for the deck. One of my favorite Chipper rookies between that and the tops. I would say those are probably my two favorites. 87 Fleer and Magic Mets. Some pretty big names on there. Nice one there. Rod Cruz, 85 Donruss. Looking pretty sharp with no signs of white speckles around that black border that's hard to take care of. Tommy Lasorda, 89 All-Star insert in rack packs. And Will Clark, rookie card. Check that out. The final card of the pack. Actually, wait. I was wrong. There is something hiding behind it. Clark, rookie. 
And look at this. Destruction crew with a call of Edo, or call of Edo, right in the center. Irony of that. I just picked up call of Edo's 57 tops rookie card the other day. I am not sure what year this is. I've seen these before, but uh, off the top of my head, I'm not entirely sure. But Mini Minoso, Larry Doby, and Rocky Colavito. Destruction crew. That is pretty awesome. Random vintage thrown in there. It's a 59, according to Big Sun. 1959. That was a very nice surprise. A very nice pack. Chipper Jones rookie, Will Clark rookie, and a Destruction crew from 1959. Wow. Freaking awesome. Freaking awesome. Sorry. <laughs> I, got, I got carried away for a second there. Way too carried away. Chaos, 11624 says, Thank you for the 87 Tops pack. I, <laughs> I pulled a PSA 13 Jim Leland. The dude is showing mad leg. Chaos, thank you, man. I appreciate that. I was hoping that you'd pull something like a Bo Jackson or Barry Bonds, but Jim Leland showing some skin is even better. I wasn't exactly entirely sure what you collected, Chaos. So I'm like, well, you can't go wrong with the 87 Tops pack, so might as well throw that in there. Brian B., what is happening? The Destruction Crew starring Carl Zambrano, Michael Barrett. <laughs> These were 50 bucks. Crab, Crab Nuts McGee, they're linked down below. 50 bucks plus shipping will get you a whole box of these green packs and probably an old Beckett. You could spend hours eating cereal and looking through those, the hot and cold list and everything else. Last pack from Mikey G. Lou Brock and Henderson. Starting it off, 91 for deck. Stolen Base Kings. I always like that card. What do we have here? 88 World Series, the Dodgers. Fleer, I think this was an, uh, in either insert set or some sort of special set. Uh, 1989. One I've never seen before. Dodger Blue World Champs, very nice. Raul Mondesi for Corey. It's a 95 top cyber stats. Gold Cup card, second year of Mondesi. I don't know if Mikey G would be willing to part with that to send to Corey, but I'm sure Corey, wherever he is, obviously he's not in here, is insanely jealous of that pull and is probably drooling right now. Robin Yowl, 86 Donruss. Still thinking about getting another box of these to rip to finally pull that freaking Inseco. We got some Garbage Pail Kids, some more Garbage Pail Kids, and Chrome this time. KO'd Cody. Got that the hell beat out of him, man. <laughs> Look at like Annie the Ragdoll <laughs> with black eyes. Jeff Bagwell's 95 over deck. Nick Markakis, rookie sensations. I want to say I pulled this out of a pack when I opened a box of these. Very nice. I still need to pick up his rookie card. On this one, I don't have my rookie box. There is a Sandberg for Craig B, though. Speaking of random cards for Craig B's collection, he probably has this one. 88 Fleer League of Leaders. 39th card, a 44 card insert set. Rhino. Very, very nice. And Aaron Judge. 35th anniversary of Tops. The 84 design from a few years ago, I believe. 2019. Aaron Judge has been cranking them out lately. That is it for Mikey G. The first stack down. And we still got all kinds of stuff. And wouldn't you know it, Corey is up next. Let's pick out five random packs for him. Craig Beasts love the weird Fleer Rhino cards. I know you do, man. Anytime you get anything from me and I, or I ship you a package, I always try to throw in whatever random Rhinos I have. I don't think I have too many left, though. But All right, the next five randomly picked out. I don't know if these are hit packs or not. But you have two hit packs in your box if you decide to get one of these. COG Sports Cars is new sub. Just found you and joined the rip. Thanks, man. It's good to have you with us. Appreciate you uh, hanging out with us. Doing a random mystery box rip here from my buddy Scott's product. 22 plus mystery packs. And I keep losing the... <laughs> There's a second one, or the third one, I should say. All right, we got some more pins in here. These keep you shooting out of the back. Teddy Ruxpin pin. I used to freaking love Teddy Ruxpin as a kid. That is awesome. I don't know where you picked these up at, Scott, but <laughs> is that the Hamburglar? That is freaking sweet. Wow. Very, very cool. like how he just randomly threw those in there. It's a nice little new touch. And Scott definitely did a great job taping these up this time around. I don't have to worry about getting carpal tunnel <laughs> like last time. Shaka says, sweet pins. Chaos says, did you make all the pins? I was wondering that too. 
myself. All right, Corey ripping for Ripkins. You were up next. Let us see what we have here. A Bobby Bow. It's his first Fleer rookie card. It's out of the base set, number 605. He used to love that card as a kid. I don't really have any value to it these days. It did at one point. I was always a big Bobby Bow fan. I liked him more than Barry Bonds at one point. He just seemed like a really down-to-earth, sincere guy. Much more so than Bonds was. Mitch Williams, rookie card, 87 tops. There's a Jeter. That's from 96, collector's choice. I used to like that card a lot as a kid, too. It's a nice little surprise in that pack, though. Tony Gwynn, Wade Boggs, limited edition from a Fleer set, 1986. There's a Cecil Fielder, saw his rookie card earlier. Gets from 92 Diamond Kings. Babylon Brook, Chrome, Garbage <laughs> I don't know if she's eating that. Is that a ketchup and mustard sandwich, or is that peanut butter and jelly? I don't know, but uh, it looks absolutely filthy, but I love that landline there. I, I want to get uh, I want to get rid of my cell phone and just get a landline, or either get like somehow figure out a way to get all my phone calls from my cell phone synced through a landline. I think that'll be freaking sweet. I don't know if it's possible or not. It looks like a Pete Rose right here though. Pete Rose, 1987 Sport Flicks, card number 25 of that set. That is pretty awesome. His rookie card is one that I am going to wholeheartedly go after here soon, and. I'm sure I'll be living in squalor once I eventually pick that one up. George Brett, 81, and Don Russ. Very nice, with some sort of white foam coming out of his mouth. <laughs> he just, George Brett was an absolute savage back in the early days. He really was. Very, very nice. First pack in the books for Corey on number two. Joel Berry says non-sport cards and packs. That's kind of a new touch. He didn't have those in there the last time around. At least I don't remember that. G.I. Joe pin. Very, very nice. Check that out. That very really goes in and go with the theme of this channel. Um, the, <laughs> the never happening G.I. Joe video that's been promised to everyone for years. Maybe that's an omen that it is coming. Maybe Scott and I have collaborated together to release the G.I. Joe video. And that is just an omen of things to come. Maybe not, but uh, that was a nice little story there for a second. <laughs> Scott says, these were, these were done this way just for you, John. That is awesome, man. You can show that pin in your video, Chaos says. I know. This will definitely be coming out for the G.I. Joe video, if any of you are still alive for that. Mike Mussina, rookie card, 91 per deck. Starting the pack off for Corey. Irony enough, Corey PCs Mike Mussina. I'm sure he probably has 20 in that card already, but that's pretty sweet. Cubs leaders, Lee Smith at 86 tops. Another one I just saw recently putting that in a binder. Sosa's 94 collector's choice. Just looks super, super high in that card. <laughs> Always thought that. Brennan McKay, second year car, Future Stars from 2021 Tops. Will Clark, 91 Fleer Ultra insert. This is um, Ultra Team, or Team Ultra, whatever these were called. Probably Team Ultra. I don't know. Second card of the 10 card set. Willie 565, a Clark rookie, and now a Clark insert. You pretty awesome, Kerry Wood award winners, '98 National League Rookie of the Year. Is that a Leaf uh, rookies and stars? I don't see those two often. That's pretty freaking awesome. What is my go-to at Taco Bell? Scotty says, uh, I, I change my order up all the time. My go-to right now is bean burrito, no cheese, add rice, add tomatoes, and I've been getting nacho fries again lately while they are while supplies last. But today I actually got the bean burrito with rice and potato or tomatoes, and then I got Another bean burrito with no cheese, add rice, and then add nacho fries. It was pretty good. I liked it a lot. So, I don't know if anybody else would like that order or not, but uh, <laughs> what can I say? I'm a weirdo. I think it's freaking awesome. 93 Tops, Fred McGriff and Frank Thomas. Nice one there. Andy Griffith's show. My parents would probably love this one. Aunt B. Taylor. I never really watched it as a kid. Maybe it was a little before my time, but uh, these came out in 1990. Mayberry Enterprises. Very, very cool. A nice touch of nostalgia. Paul L says that order sounds nasty. Paul L has never eaten Taco Bell. So do not let him tell you if things are nasty from, from Taco Bell or not. He's never even eaten it. Barry Bonds, the Gold Bats, 91 Bowman to end the pack off for Corey. Hopefully Corey needs that one for his Bowman set that he's putting together. Chris Sambrano, what's happening, man? Put the 86 Don with John Wathen in a screw down instead of the binder. <laughs> James says, you catch your brother opening 90 tops looking for the no name on front. He even pulled a Jono commenting on the way a player looked on the card, but it was just cringe. I did not see that. It looks like Corey got a special pack. He found a Kings pack. 
All right, Diamond Kings. You know, I saw Eric open, what was it? Uh, it was a cello box of those, I think, but I didn't watch the entire video. Yeah, I have uh, a nice lineup of 90 tops. We got the jumbo cellos and then three wax boxes, two of them thanks to CNM. And I think the one I bought at a flea market. <laughs> Go figure. 87 dollars curry pocket leading us off the king's pack the yaz completed puzzle pieces very nice andre dawson 86 don russ diamond kings is, i think this is 82 jim palmer i think Corey actually kind of pcs jim palmer so that's pretty freaking sweet scott erickson was a pretty big name a big prospect back in the early 90s that would probably be probably would have been worth a few bucks back then carew also from 82 don russ i think either 82 or 83 they are practically identical uh, to the naked eye. Mike Mussina, nice one there for Corey's PC. Paul Molitor, 88 Donruss Diamond Kings. And Tony Gwynn out of 85. Very, very nice. TW Wrestling's is Taco Bell and Burger King are both good. That is true. There has been plenty of time where I've gone to both Taco Bell and Burger King in the same day, uh, the most recent being two days ago. <laughs> and I am disgusting. James Reynolds says two boxes sell, didn't find one Thomas. That's crazy. Definitely saw some more Mandela effects in Eric's 90 Tops video. Every single time we have a 90 Tops, there's Mandela effects, man. That's like the set that keeps on giving more and more mysteries. Cards that you never knew existed. And Joseph Cease says, I cry myself to sleep every night, for I've come to the realization I will leave <laughs> I will leave this world without ever seeing the much-awaited G.I. Joe video. Joseph C., cry yourself to sleep no longer. It is coming, man, with the... Uh, sign of this pin, and this is heralding in the G.I. Joe video in this this year. It's coming. I was actually looking at my stuff today and um, thinking about how I'm going to make that video soon. Appreciate that, Joseph C. It is always good to have you with us. Please do not doubt me, for that video is coming. Along with Junk Wax Jeopardy, the error card video... My childhood toy, toys in my parents' attic. The O-ring video. I have lots of things lined up over the next decade. <laughs> you will be alive for it. I promise you, you will be alive for it. It is happening. Where do I stand on Long John Silvers? I have not gone to Long John Silvers in a long time. I used to like their hush puppies, though. When I would go there, that's what I would get. Look at this. Garbage Pail Kids pin. With the mushroom cloud coming out of his head. That is pretty wild. That's awesome, man. I don't know where you got these at. If, I, don't, I don't know if Scott custom made these or what. Because they look new. And they're all the same size. Those are freaking awesome. Does Long John Silver still exist? I feel like usually it's like a combo store with some other, something else. Like Long John Silver's and like freaking Arby's mashed together. Mike Scott. Never seen this one before. 82 Don Russ. Super young Mike Scott. He had some awesome years in the 80s, though. Fernando Valenzuela, early 90s classic. Eddie Alvarez, 2021 Tops rookie card. Nice one there. Pete Rose, 86 Tops. Some pretty awesome vintage cards of him on there. I always like that 69 Tops a lot. That card's freaking awesome. Look at Miggy, 87 Tops. This is, uh, well, it's not 87 Tops, obviously, but from 2017 with the 87 Tops design. Baseball hobby continuity continuity program. I can't pronounce that word with crap, but <laughs> a gold star for trying. Roger Clemens and 93 Stadium Club, and one that I'm not familiar with with the four stars on it. That's pretty freaking cool. I don't remember ever seeing those stars on there. There's a Long John Silvers in La Trobe. Timmy says, yeah, that's right, there is. I feel like they just remodeled those. There's one on Mount Pleasant, too. Don Mattingly looking rather seductive on that card. His heroes are Dr. J and Rod Carew. Favorite TV show is David Letterman. He collects bats. Likes country music and rock. Donnie Baseball. You can never, ever hate on him. Ted's Creamy Root Beer advertising. Ted Williams. And I was going to say, is that a real autograph? That'd be crazy, but it's definitely a facsimile. I've seen signs of this before. I've almost bought them several times. I made metal signs of these. Uh, very, very cool. I like that one a lot. Never knew there was a card of it. And Jim Tummy, second year card, 92 tops. To end the pack. And the final one for Corey. And big raise ball cards and auctions. I need to send your parents Andy Griffith complete sets. My parents probably would love it. Well, maybe not so much. Some, not so much my dad. My mom, I feel like, would love it. I feel like she grew up with Andy Griffith. I remember her telling me about that show when I was younger, and I feel like I tried to watch it and was not having it. Look at this, 
You just struck gold, congrats. I caught a glimpse of that as I was flipping this over. Big Ray's ball cards and auctions. Thank you, man. Mark R. I've dragged my feet on sending a package out to you. I've got fell behind over the last few days, but uh, it's packaged up and in the mail to you tomorrow, man. So I didn't really think I was avoiding you. It is coming. Should have it this week, I would think so. Jim Tommy 94 score gold rush back to back Tommy fun. That's pretty awesome. So this is all gold cards in this pack. Paul L, yeah, if you would not mind, man, posting our link to Big Race channel because I know he does make videos. I haven't seen one. I haven't seen him post one in a little while, but um, last few days I haven't been on YouTube too much. Todd Van Poppel, the gold winner set. Tom Glavin, this one there. Trevor Hoffman, second year card with the sauce face or pizza face, I should say. That's actually that's uh, Hoffman's first tops card, so that's pretty awesome. Hoffman is a Hall of Famer, as you probably all know. Pedro Martinez, 95, Gold Rush. Nice one there. I used to love uh, these cards back in 95. Bought a ton of them. Henry Rodriguez. Leaf Gold Rookies. Wetlands, uh, Leaf Black Gold. Fryman and Larkin from 93 Tops. And check this out. That's pretty awesome. The final card for Corey, who collects Mike Mussina, is a 95 Collector Choice Gold Sig of the Moose. Nice way to end it off. Very, very nice. A couple Mucinas in there for Corey. No Ripkins, but Corey, believe it or not, is actually selling off his Kyle Ripken collection. Or a lot of it. Absolute craziness. On to stack number three. Still another box of these two. So there is a lot to rip into tonight. Well, <laughs> I pulled this one out, so we're going to keep it anyways. It was not flipped upside down, so pick five random ones for Scott. I think there's going to be a couple left over. Sweet gold pack, Daniel says. And then we'll, you know, we'll open this one first. This one's actually dedicated to Corey. I wasn't sure if you wanted me to open these specifically, but seriously, that guy's been in every stream asking about these, <laughs> and he's not here. Scott knew it was premonition. Please accept this as a token of my apology for being tardy. <laughs> All right, let's see what we have here for Corey, who is not here. Something thick inside of there. I have a feeling there's an Olsen Twins card in that pack. What is this? Oh, man, that is pretty freaking awesome. A Project 2020 Ripken. With the 82 Tops Traded Ripken design. That is freaking sweet. I've never seen this before. As Paul L. knew I was going to say, geez, that is awesome. Project 2020. I, I would almost guarantee Corey does not have this card. So, love that uh, 82 Traded design of Ripken. So freaking cool, Scott. That's awesome of you, man. I know Corey is going to love that whenever he sees it. And ripping vintage as I had Taco Bell today. Now you can, <laughs> now you can too, buddy. Scott, thank you, man. I had Taco Bell earlier, but uh, what's to stop me from having it twice? Absolutely nothing. I appreciate that. Ripping vintage, check them out. Actively posting videos and um, always ripping random stuff that uh, I think everyone on there, or uh, all the subs can enjoy. Some older stuff, primarily older stuff. I feel like. Scott is up right now, believe it or not. Check him out. Give him a sub if you have not. Definitely a very great, positive guy. And the first pack for Scott. Let's see if we can pull you a nice oddball Eckersley. No, uh, Scott does PC Dennis Eckersley. It would have been nice to get his autograph last time for you. We pulled his autograph out of uh, the previous box. And that was pretty sweet. I'm not entirely sure what that is. Is that Transformers? Yeah, <laughs> I was looking at it upside down. I was going to say, what is that? Is that Does that say something? Yep, it's a Transformer symbol. Case of the Mondays over here. Case of the Mondays. That is freaking awesome, though. I'm like, what does that say? Does that say eat on it? <laughs> it's been a long day. Give me a break. Very, very cool. All these pins have been awesome, though, by the way. Teddy Ruxpin, G.I. Joe, Transformers, Decepticons. Dirk Remington's is great. I can see Taco Bell from my hotel. Now I have to go. 
The entire stream revolves around Taco Bell. I love it. Check out Dirk Remington who posted a video yesterday of his retail in the wild card hunts. And he did have some luck. He definitely had some luck at um, a place I'm not going to mention, so you have to watch the video. Pete Rose, 85 Donruss. Check out Dirk Remington. Give him a sub. If you're not already, we have Dave Rigetti rookie card, 82 Donruss, though. Definitely one I have secured away in my rookie box. And now you can, too, as well, Scott. Roger Clemens, 86 World Series. I think that's a, from a Fleer set, I believe. Third card of a 12-card set. There's a Ripken, though. Decade's best, I think, from 2020. Nice one there. Nine over deck. Henderson, the All-Star game in Toronto, 1991. Cool card, like that one. 84 tops. Dale Murphy, Cecil Cooper, and Hall of Famer Jim Rice. Very nice. Like that one. Tony Gwynn. All-star card. Out of the uh, one per rack pack. I like those ones. And Mount Castle rookie. Check that out. 2021 tops. Mount Castle. Wasn't sure if you had that one or not, Scott. But definitely a nice one to add to your PC. Along with this Ric Flair. Speaking of the 86 design. Very, very nice. Ric Flair was, um, he was at the National this year, actually. I saw some people meeting him. <laughs> I've never seen this card, though. It's pretty freaking awesome. The legend himself, Ric Flair. Love it. Ripping Vintage is stoked on that one. That's a sweet card. Lots of 86 floating around. It looks like we got another special pack. Luck has found you. All insert hot pack for Scott. Very nice. Whoa, Jose Reyes just pulled his rookie card out of 2001 Bowman a couple days ago. I need that card, Crown Apple Kid says. The New Deal Skateboard Company. I still have a New Deal shirt from like 1999. New Deal was, uh, was pretty awesome. Jose Reyes die cut card from Topps Chrome. That's pretty freaking sweet though. From 2013. Like that one a lot. I wonder how hard it would be to get a PSA 10 on something like that with all those freaking corners and edges. That is a Justin Turner, Topps Chrome, Refractor, Type Deal, Sheffield from 95, Collector's Choice, I want to say, All-Star, uh, insert set, 45 card insert set to be exact, 97 Fleer headlines, Frank Thomas, like that card, Joey Gallo, Home Run Challenge, a few years ago from Topps. I think it's from 2021, actually. And other garbage pill kids. <laughs> Foul Phil. Is he smoking a joint there? I don't... <laughs> There's a lot going on in that card, though. That was pretty gnarly. Pretty gnarly and morbid at the same time. On the back. Not sure what's going on here, either. But here's what your completed red border puzzle will look like. That is a lot of snot. <laughs> That's a sick-looking card, though. Like, prism-style border. Dale Murphy, 85 All-Star. Nolan Ryan, 1975 Double Milestone. No-hitter number four. It's from 1990 Upper Deck. Very nice. And check this out. Andrew McCutcheon, Topps Chrome. That's an awesome-looking card. A couple years ago, I think. but 2016, it looks like. Used to be a big McCutcheon fan when he's back in the Buccos. Freaking sweet-looking card. It's like 3D. Like that one a lot. On to the next one. Lucky, a twins pack. Dynamic duo, foul Phil smoking, <laughs> and Robbie Blumpkin vaping. You see, uh, you probably saw it, Paul, but uh, Robbie Blumpkin at the beach recently wearing Jankos on the beach. <laughs> oh, he rules. Here's one for Brian Smith, though, with the 73 design. Jacob DeGrom, a nice way to start this off. Can't have too many DeGrom cards ever in your PC. The third pack in for Scott. Blue tape is stuck to my fingers. Very nice. Ooh, that's pretty awesome. This is a parallel of some kind of refractor. DeGrom and DeGrom back to back. I've not seen those before. Very, very cool. Like that one a lot. And this is the, I guess they're all like this. Bregman. Um, Regular and then parallel 92 tops design. This is a pretty freaking awesome pack. Aaron Otto, the 85 design from 2020, I believe. And the parallel after that. Wow. Very nice. And Alec Bohm, 52 design and the parallel. 
I get why it's a twin pack. I know. I was thinking it was going to be like Minnesota Twins. I'm like, how many Ken Herbacks are you going to give somebody? <laughs> but, but that was a pretty awesome pack, though. I like that idea. Clever guy, that Scott. Doing things like that. And like I said, he definitely puts a lot of thought into these while making them. If you order at the link down below, you see it down there. I think he has a bunch of these already pre-made, and they ship out pretty quick. So if you do do decide to get one, you have a channel, make a video of it, because I'd like to see what your hits are as well. Fill a pack with Joe May's Twins cards. <laughs> Look at that. Motu. Very, very nice. Pops out of that mystery pack. So freaking cool. I see a Willie McGee rookie card. Very nice. Twin threw me off. Yeah, me too, man. <laughs> Steve. Twin pack and a Jose Aussie. And no Jose Aussie cards. Yeah, Jose and Aussie Canseco. Or Kyle and Jim Abbott. That was a sweet twin pack, though, man. There's definitely some nice parallels in there. Chaos says, I'm going to have to get one of those boxes. Seem like a fun rip. They definitely are, man. The last one was awesome, too. And we were only... We're barely even halfway done through this one. McGee, rookie card, 83 Donruss. Nice one there. Josh Gibson. Home run number 101. That's pretty awesome, too. Clemens, 86 All-Star. Edgar's 91 Donruss, Diamond Kings. And check this out. <laughs> Homer Runt. Cockroaches with the 85 Tops design. Garbage Pail Kids. It looks like a Tiffany. But it is not. Maybe it is a Tiffany. Garbage Pail Kids Tiffany. That will be all the new craze now. These are like thicker cardstock, too. They're pretty nice. It's like we have, um, I was going to say Ryan Howard, but it's not Ryan. Chase Utley. I was going to say Ryan Howard had a bunch of these now, Generation Now cards, too. Chase Utley, number 34, or 34 game hitting streak. Kevin Mitchell, I think some people would consider that his rookie card. Uh, 87 Fleer. Bo Bichette, second year card. Looks like we got a Larkin rookie coming up for you, Scott. 87 Don Russ. Just pulled that out of a pack not that long ago out of uh, the recent mail day I did. I actually have it sitting right next to me. <laughs> irony upon irony. Larkin Rookie Extravaganza. I think that's my favorite Larkin Rookie, though. I like that card a lot. 87 Don Russ. Very, very nice. And then there was one for Scott. Got yourself a Larkin Rookie. Final pack. <laughs> Paul L. I have it sitting right next to me. Never seen that one before. And you have another hit pack. Hey, Playa, you found an all-rookies hot pack. Freaking sweet. Scott, you made out big time. You got a Dalton rookie right on top. Joe's card corral in the house. I didn't even see you sneak in here. Darren Dalton's 86 Don Russ. Looks like we got a Jimmy Moyer. 87 Fleer rookie coming up in here. How well do you know baseball cards? There it is. Brett Boone's 92 Bowman literally about to burst into tears at any given second on that card. <laughs> Interesting photo that shows for old Brett Boone, the son of Bob Boone, whose rookie card is 1973 tops. Useless information that is stored in my cranium. I think that's right. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I'm pretty sure Bob Boone's rookie was 73. Moyer's 87 Fleer rookie card. Pete Incavilia. Or as all of us probably call him as kids, Pete Incaviglia. <laughs> if we were even that close. Nice one there. Cole Hamill's Rookie Sensations. Inserts Alec Bohm, Rookie Card. The 86 design. Kind of like Jared, Jared Leto. Um, a little bit there. From Suicide Squad. Like a, looks like he's wearing makeup. Almost. It's creepy. Sandy Almar, Rookie Card, 89 score. That had some value to it back in the day. Sosa Rookie. Sammy Thunder was talking about Sosa rookie earlier today. There is his upper deck rookie. And another Will Clark rookie card to end Scott's final pack is 87 Don Russ. Love that one. Nice photo of Will. And my phone is on its deathbed and dying. So I think I'm at probably like 10%. <laughs> Someone wants to remind me soon to plug that in. That'd probably be pretty helpful. Might be on 10% now. Maybe I should unplug this microphone. We are caught up back in six days of blackness again. All right. The final participant, CNM Collectibles, who was with us earlier, but is currently doing an Alan Ginter break. I think he's doing a case break, too. But the final five packs 
are for you, Chad. One, two, three, four, and five. And I still have four left, so uh, I don't know what we should do with those. I thought there was only going to be 22 packs in there. Maybe I just didn't follow directions <laughs> or instruction. But CNM, you're up next. Good luck to you, man, and good luck in your Allen and Ginter rip. Let's see what we got in the very first pack. Dan W says, plugged it in now and keep it plugged in all the way through the auction on Wednesday. <laughs> Take no chances. That is a good call, man. That is definitely a good call. And a pin or a button just fell out. Let's make sure I don't I didn't overlook any of these. Transformers again. This one is a different coloring. It's not the Decepticon this time around, but just Transformers. Very nice. At least this time I don't have it holding it upside down. Wondering what the hell that is. <laughs> Like, I recognize the coloring, but what does that say? Very, very cool. Another Transformers pin. And on top, we have a David Cohn rookie card, 87 Donruss. Nice one for the rookie PC. CNM collects Royals cards. So, um, that is pretty freaking awesome and ironic that that is the start of his stack. Not sure if you have that one or not, but definitely a nice rookie for a Royals collector. Charlotte's Web, or Charlotte Web, I should say, with the hourglass on the abdomen. This card definitely creeps me out because when I was four years old, in my sandbox, I don't know if my dad will watch this or not to verify. I don't even know if he remembers this, but Eric had his side of the sandbox. I had my side of the sandbox. His side was carved by a tarp when he wasn't playing in it. And in this tarp, in a crevice there was a Black Widow spider. And I was crouching down in the sandbox, and I was literally probably like this far away from this Black Widow, and I was, um, it was this close to butting my ass. I kid you not, if I would have moved back an extra like inch or two inches, this Black Widow definitely would have bit me, and I probably would have died. I was four years old, I was a little kid. I turned around, I saw it, I screamed, I ran in the house, told my mom, I don't think she'd believe me. I came out later the next day or whenever, later that day or the next day, and the, the web was broken, the spider was gone. Never saw Black Widow again, but ever since that moment, I was horrified and terrified of spiders, and it is traumatic for me to talk about that. <laughs> but you'll still catch me catching them in a glass and putting them outside regardless. Unless they're freaking wolf spiders, then I, I, I'm not so uh, merciful. But haunted forever by Black Widows, and thank you, Scott, for... Bringing back that trauma with this card. <laughs> Sorry for ranting, but uh, I had to get that out. I no longer need therapy. Thank you guys for all listening to me. Ian Anderson, rookie card, 2021 tops. Adrian Beltry. Funny story about this. I was watching another YouTube video recently where a guy is opening 97 Bowman. And at the start of the video, he says, okay, in this box, we're looking for Adrian Beltron. <laughs> me and Corey were kind of watching it. I was talking on the phone and I was watching in the background. And, uh, and the guy said he was looking for Adrian Beltron. I'm like, well, Carlos Beltron's first Bowman card is in there, but it was like a hybrid. Adrian Beltron, Carlos Beltre, <laughs> Barry Bonds, 92 All Star. <laughs> this is a sweet card, though. 91 per deck, the White Sox, and the throwback, 1917 Revisited. That's very fitting, given the Field of Dreams game that just took place. That game was freaking awesome, too, by the way. Awesome, and I did not think the Sox were to come back to win it. Tim Anderson, man. Freaking awesome. Johnny Ben, Jetty 2 Don Russ. Nice one there. Yankees. I, th <laughs> I thought that says <laughs> dig up. Oh, never mind. Yankees dig up Ortiz jersey. They dug up a jersey from David Ortiz that had been placed there by a Boston fan in 07. I thought said they dug up Ortiz's bones for a second. I'm like, what the hell? That's a pretty sadistic card. That's a cool card, though. I like that one a lot. Tom Glavin, sidelines from 92 Pinnacle. Hockey player. I remember this one from a kid. And MLB patch. That's pretty awesome surprise in there. Official MLB patch. Very, very cool. And I think this is an 84 Donruss Diamond Kings. Wade Boggs. 83 Donruss, actually. Very nice. Don't see those too often. Nick Morgan says, not Hamburglar. 
Joe's car cross had a similar incident with a copperhead as a little kid. I don't remember, but I'm told all the time the snake heads its mouth. Uh, the snake had its mouth open, and my dad grabbed me. That's creepy, man. Claim it would be it would disrespect the big poppy. And not a hit pack here, but uh, see what we got for CNM in the second pack in. Still got a whole nother box of these on top of a ball mailer. So thank you for sticking with me. While we search desperately high and low for Adrian Beltron rookie cards. And what do we have in here? This could be a hit for CNM. It's covered up by a puzzle piece of Hank Aaron. I thought that's what you were trying to say, Joe. Well concealed. This is some sort of hit in here. Looks like it's going to be like a 2002 tops. Whoa, look at that. Placido Polanco. Very nice. This is from Toff's Archives, certified auto issue. Nice autograph he has there. The 2002 Toff's design, very, very cool. Sharp looking card. Like that one a lot. You feel these fans. Very nice hit there. And then there were three. Nice auto. First one of the night. Could be more. Chris Sambrano says good use of puzzle pieces. Definitely was a nice way to conceal that. And then our button inside of here, our pin. And this one is mask. Very, very cool. Was not expecting to see that. Freaking sweet. That one's actually, what was that? That's not Thundercats. What did I say, mask? Freaking sweet. So much awesome stuff in here. So many awesome pins. I kind of want to put these all on the screen. It is Thundercats. I don't know why I said mask at first. I was like, wait a second. I'm trying to look at these through my phone, and these buttons are pretty small. So I think that's why I was like, what is that? Is that Transformers or does that say something? But I think there might be another one in here too. Very, very nice. Frank Thomas Prospect Cards, 96 Ultra. Number 9 of 10. Never seen that one before. Very nice. Storm Davis, 83 Donruss. <laughs> A very crazed lunatic, Max Scherzer. <laughs> George Brett, 92 tops. Never seen this. Larry Walker snagging a ball, though. 94 Clutter Choice. Very, very nice there. Bonds, Tale of the Tape. Fleer Tradition. Ian Happ, tops. Chrome feature stars. Bo Jackson, rookie. That's pretty awesome. First David Cohn and now Bo Jackson. I don't know if CNM had that <coughs> or not, but that is a nice hit there. Second to last card of that pack. And Sheffield and Fred McGriff, Spirit of the Game out of 93 Donruss. Let's see. Very, very nice. Back to back. Have never seen that car before either. That says respect, not pro. I thought I said respect. <laughs> And then there were two. And then we have four extra packs. I don't really know what I'm going to do with those. But uh, I guess I'm going to give one to each participant. Eric Davis leading us off. 89 Bowman. Also looking pretty sad. There's another Mitchell from 87 Fleer. I guess that one would more be so considered his rookie card than the last one. Dave Mackin and Future Stars. That card definitely takes me back. That was worth a few bucks back in the day. Probably the hottest card of a set at one point. To love that Future Stars contrast, the coloring on uh, those from that particular set. Freaking awesome. Ozzy Gian, 93 tops gold. Mo Vaughn, Leaf Gold or Gold Leaf Rookies. Raul, <laughs> Raul Mondesi in the stink face. That is hideous. For Corey, Wade Boggs and the uh, kind of like crotch shot there. Giancarlo Stanton. 85 design, and look at that, the Mick. Monumental Moments from Fleer Tradition. I've seen this one before. Long time ago, 98 Fleer Traditions. Freaking awesome one. Danny Deese is auctioning off the last four. I don't know what to do with the last four, just because uh, I wanted some other people to be able to participate, but it was difficult to divide these up. Final pack for CNM. I don't really want to sell them, though. I don't really know how to make it fair to give these away, the last four, so. I am open to suggestions. There's the Hamburglar. <laughs> he 
He comes out. He used to love the Hamburglar. Who didn't? McDonald's back in the 80s was one of a kind. One of a kind. I despise it now, but I still like seeing all the old stuff from back then. It's freaking awesome. Happy Meals were one of a kind, too. I, don't even, I guess they still do have Happy Meals, but they're just not the same anymore. There's a Hershiser second year. 86 tops. Mark Icorn, Canadian greats. Just open the last four for yourself, Julius says. Chat raffle. Yeah, I don't know how to, the chat raffles are tough to do, though. That's the only problem. It's like it's really impossible to get everybody in here into a raffle together. There's no like easy way to do it. Ripken 92 Pinnacle, Robin Ventura, 88 tops traded, the USA Olympic. This is actually his rookie card. Very, very nice. Miguel Tejada, total production from tops total. Tony Danza used to love Who's the Boss whenever I was a kid. <laughs> Fans of the game. That's pretty sick. Yankees fan. <laughs> Hit it big with a starring role in the huge 80s sitcom, Who's the Boss? And that creepy windowless van he drove. Love it. Impact player. Bo Jackson, Tatis, 2021 tops. Good to see him back. And another 59, Nelly Fox and Aparicio. That is freaking awesome. Keystone combo. Crazy again. Aparicio, another rookie card I picked off over this weekend. That is awesome. Another 59 to end CM's stack. Very, very cool vintage you have inside of there, too. Nice mixture of rookies, modern. These are definitely well thought out. Angels in the outfield. Yeah, he was an angel in the outfield, too. And then there were four. And then we still have a whole other box to open up. We're going to be here all freaking night, I guess. It's already, it's already been here for an hour. Finkel is Icorn. Icorn is Finkel. Now well, we have four packs left. <clears throat> I don't know what to do with these, so there's really no easy way for me to raffle these off or anything else. I'm just going to open them up, I guess. And um, I don't know. We'll do something with these, or I'll do something with them at some point. I still have stuff to give away. I know I've been saying I'm giving away stuff for like the last month and a half. <laughs> and I plan on it. Just have not had a chance to do it. Just from everyone helping me to get my channel back to begin with. I said I was going to give away this right next to me. This 50 card, 95 studio gold set. I am going to give that away at some point. I just don't know when. His gun was sticking to my hip. I love all the Ace Ventura references. Definitely a great movie. Dave Stewart tuxedo card is the very first one in this pack. On to Jelly Kelly. We saw that one earlier. I can't remember if it was a chrome or not. But... Um, I can't remember. I think it might have been. It looks like a different parallel almost. Dawson's 84 tops. Eddie Murray, 81 Don Russ. Bo Jackson's 88 tops. There's also football rookie who's also an 88 tops. I just saw that one today. And there's a rhino for Craig B. Craig B. <laughs> I was going to say Craig B and Griffey. <laughs> rhino and, and Griffey standing together. It's 91 for deck card. There's one you don't see very often. It's from the final edition set, which a lot of people I feel like overlook or don't really realize. It's got Pedro Martinez's one true rookie card in it, along with Jim Tomey, Dimitri Young, and a couple other ones. Robin Yount's 86 Fleer, Fernando Tatis, 52 Design, and ending the pack with another 88. This time, Tom Glavin, rookie, the best card of this set. This card's pretty sharp, too. Very, very nicely centered on that one. That would probably get a high grade. That don't look like Craig Biggio. <laughs> don't look like Craig Biggio. Oh, Craig Biggio. Second pack down. Two more left. Definitely a nice looking Glavin. In this one, we have. <clears throat> I can't quite tell. Is that the Planters Peanuts guy? There's a. <clears throat> and that's Twinkie. A bunch of icons on here. I'm having a hard time seeing. I'm looking through my phone, but uh, <laughs> that's definitely the Twinkie mascot on top there. Hostess. Okay, the Hostess mascot. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> Who else is on there? I can't make out those other ones. Jimmy Rollins, own the game. Twinkie the Kid. 
Kevin Elster, that was definitely worth a few bucks back in the day. Is that 88 update? It's got to be. It is. Kevin Elster, rookie card, worth a few bucks. Ripken, his commemorative set from 94 Collector Choice. So we got Jim Abbott, whose idol was Nolan Ryan, who we have sitting right here. VA Beach says, are these packs you assembled? I missed the start. These are actually uh, not that I assembled, but a, a guy by the name of Scott, a.k.a. Steve. He is selling these on eBay. They are 50 bucks plus shipping. A link is down below if you're interested in grabbing one off. We got Rod Wad. <laughs> the Bazooka Joe shirt. His entire face engulfed in Bazooka gum. Paul Mulder, 86 tops. Ozzy Smith, 93 select. Here is the Pacific Sock Exchange card again. And look at that. Final card of the pack. Wouldn't you know it? Greg Maddox rookie card. And that awesome little scum stash. It's actually a little bit past the point of scum stash. That is pretty awesome, though. That's a nice way to end that pack. Maddox rookie card. Nice touch. And we have two more big races. Is all of this from just one box? This is only one box still. We still have another one open. Brian Smith says, I grabbed one. Look forward to ripping it open. That's freaking sweet. Danny Duke, he says, Rod Wad. Danny D says, nice Maddox. Danny D, I'm going to send that to you. Send me an email, and I'm going to send that card to you. Congrats, you found the 84 Tops Hot Pack. That is freaking sweet. 84 Tops Crumb Stash. That's a smut stash, JC says. That is definitely a smut stash. You have coined that phrase forever, man. I love it. 84 Tops Hot Pack. What do you have here? Tim Raines and Henderson. Very, very nice. Yount. Pedro Guerrero. I've been stoked on that as a kid. VA Beach is Maddox. Great card, undervalued. It definitely is. Tony Perez. Jose Canseco parallel thrown in the mix. There's a nice little mullet down below. Steve Carlton. Rod Carew. Eddie Murray All-Star subset card. And end of the pack with a Nolan Ryan. Very, very nice. 84 tops. Hot pack. Freaking sweet. Love it. And we have one more left before we open an entire another box. I hope you're excited. And I hope that nobody has to wake up early tomorrow. Because uh, this is going to be an all-night live stream. There's one card in here. It feels like it's a hit pack. Second hit pack of tonight. <laughs> Patrick M. What do we have in here? If I can get it out. Obi Tappin Smut Stash. Crumbs Tobacco. That raunchy, raunchy juice. I don't know if I can get this out of here. Something is really stuck in there. That was a sweet Ryan, Daniel. It definitely was. To perform some surgery here in this last pack. And we have another one that's hidden. It could be an autograph again. Hidden by another Hank Aaron puzzle. And look at that. Josh Bell Relic. That is freaking awesome. I was so bummed out. The Pirates got rid of Josh Bell, or when they got rid of him, I should say. But uh, official game-used Relic, 189 out of 199. That is freaking awesome regardless, though. Love it. Very, very nice. What year is this from? 2021. Awesome. Scott, you definitely killed it. You knocked it out of the park with just this first box. The Placido Polanco autograph. Josh Bell out of 199. Relic. Maddox rookie card. Will Clark rookie cards. Bo Jackson. All kinds of great stuff in that first box. And we are not even done yet. Moving on to the next one. These freaking pins were an awesome touch as well. I'm going to move these off the screen and pull this next box out. This next one is not a break. This was something Scott threw together personally for me, which was really, really cool of him. You do not have to do that, Scott, at all. Um, I appreciate you putting such effort into this. Let's see what we got in here. Daniel is awesome for the Pirates PC. It definitely is. I have not opened this one yet. As you can see, the tape is still intact. <laughs> and I hope <clears throat> I hope to give some of this stuff away. It's hard to get do giveaways for a live stream. I wish I could just round up everyone that was in the live stream and just hit a button and just have it, you know, pull everyone that's in here right now. But there's no way to do that. 
Nothing I've found out. Joseph said those pens will look good on your stone <laughs> your stonewashed denim jacket. <laughs> I love that, man. Yeah, stonewashed denim jacket and acid washed jeans with a bugle boy shirt underneath. And then go hang out by the mall staircase where we're not allowed. I love it. Plot twist, the box is filled with omens. <laughs> VA Beats says you need to do weekly streams of Joe's card corral like an Abbott and Costello routine. That was hilarious. That would be fun. It definitely would be fun. My buddy, um, speaking of doing random videos and skits and stuff like that, my buddy just started a YouTube channel and uh, him and I are going to be doing a series or probably starting a channel that um, is mostly humorous. So I think it's going to be basically retro and humor mashed together. We've been talking about doing that for a while. Joe's Card Corral is more than welcome to join us on this adventure, but uh, we got, <laughs> I got some pretty funny ideas. Official TPIA box. Whoa, look at that. I was literally just looking at this at a flea market on Sunday, and I almost bought it. 92 program Pirates versus the Braves. Oh, man. That is freaking awesome. With Three River Stadium. Our beloved Three River Stadium that they tore down. And I hate them for it every day. Jabs Rules guest starring Steve Brule. <laughs> oh, so good. Joe's car curls is damn. My stomach just turned in the good old days. Yeah, this definitely takes me back looking at this. I cannot wait to look through it further later. Melon Bank. Oh, man, Mellon Bank is no longer around, bought out by Citizens Bank. Got to get Sid Bream's auto on that. <laughs> Marlboro ad. Oh, sweet. I love it. Gary Reedus, J. Bell, Drabeck, all of these names. Ted Simmons. Jeez. Wow. Well, I'm not going to put you guys through me looking through this and... Being all nostalgic, but this is freaking sweet. Love it. What a nice, nice way to open up this box. The 92 Pirates and Braves program. That's crazy, man. I was literally just looking at that. There's a lot of cool stuff in here. We got 90 Tops Rack Pack. Jeez. Battle Beast sticker. Whoa. Muscle Men. <laughs> Gee. I don't even know what to say. Scott, this is absolutely crazy. Jeez, there's black packs in here. All right. I don't, I don't know how to open these, what order to open these in. 86 Tops Rack Pack with Mattingly in the center. That is freaking sweet. He must have been paying attention to my numerous random comments on how much I loved that card as a kid. Mattingly dead center. That is freaking awesome. Yeah, I always loved that card. That was like, I don't know, it was probably my best card when I first started collecting back in like 88 or 89, whenever that was. And I had it, and it definitely had a big crease, like, I don't know, pretty much halfway through the card. And I still had it in the yellow top loader anyways, and I still loved it. So that is freaking awesome. That is dead center on that pack. And there's a ton of stuff in here. Jeez, Scott, you have outdone yourself. I have no idea what's going to be in this. I don't know if it's going to be like the last box. We have airs, miscuts, a cat pack. Are these supposed to be open in a certain order, Scott? I see that they uh, all have numbers on them. I'm guessing they're supposed to be open in a certain order. Three, four, five. <laughs> this is crazy. Manning is my all-time favorite player. My nickname playing ball back in the day was Donny, Danny Baseball. That is sick, man. I'll keep that in mind next time I send you a package, Dan. I'll try to remember that. I like to try to hook people up whenever I send them stuff out, whether it's a card or whatever else. <laughs> Joe's card grill. I don't know if I could repeat that. People might get offended, but uh, scum stash or not pack, one of one. Okay, so they're not really entered in any kind of particular order. Check out these stickers out there. This is freaking awesome. Muscle Men stickers. Scott must have, he must have made these on his own. Battle Beasts. Oh my God, how many of you guys remember those from the late 80s? Gator. That is sick. Vision Streetwear Gator sticker. You guys remember Gator who... He's still doing a life sentence, I'm pretty sure, for killing his girlfriend back in uh, 
the late 80s. Gator was, he was a big thing. Whoa, Micro Machine sticker. That is sick, man. Oh, I love these. There's Mask. There is Mask. Freaking awesome. I actually, I don't, I don't have any Mask toys at all. I didn't have any Mask toys as a kid. Literally none. Um, it's one I've always thought about going back to collect, but then toy prices went absolutely nuts. I guess I was just too obsessed with Ghostbusters and other toy lines to have masks. Maybe I like Transformers more back then. I honestly can't remember. Ms. Pac-Man, very, very sweet. They like the retro arcade marquee style. And Transformers the movie sticker. That is awesome. Scott, you did you did an awesome job, man. These turned out really well. I don't know if you had these professionally made or you made them yourself or what, but I thought Gator was Louisiana Lightning, aka Ron Guidry. No, Gator was a he was a pro skateboarder. He was set to do big things and he killed his girlfriend. And I'm pretty sure he's doing a life sentence. Tons of stuff to look at in here. I don't even know what to say. And we still have a bubble mailer to open last. Scum stash or not, one of one pack. Speaking of scum stashes and crust stashes and everything else that we've named. Floyd fans says, guess what I had for dinner? I'm going to say it has to be Taco Bell. <laughs> Dennis Lamp. Oh, look at that. Look at that. That is a gnarly one. Scott says, I didn't know he was a killer. <laughs> Gator, Gator definitely was a killer, man. It is, the story is pretty crazy. Dennis Lamp and that burly handlebar mustache. That is a good one right there. I like that one. Just saw this one recently. Ron Gardenhire and his, I don't even know. It's like um, peach fuzz scum stash. <clears throat> Almost looks like a milk mustache if you look at it real quick. <laughs> That's definitely a good one. Tony Bernazard. That's another nice one there. It's a respectable stash. Robbie Thompson always had, and he was always known for his little scum stash. Bobby Castillo, kind of looking like the Dunkin' Donuts representative from the 80s. Or Mario, oh man, you had to throw that one in there. You had to throw it in there. Paul L., I know that you are rejoicing right now at this Randy McCammick. Randy McCammick, the most seductive card of all time. He is looking right through you on both sides of that card <laughs> in a very promiscuous position. Oh, man, that is a glorious. Randomly thrown in there. Jay Baller. <laughs> Just, oh, man, that card is great. Absolutely great. Bobby Gridge, another good one there. Mark Davis, his little forming Hannibal scum stash. And Daniel Mengden, rookie card. He's got a little Raleigh Fingers effect going on there. Between uh, Doc Holliday and Raleigh Fingers hybrid. That's definitely a cool one, though. Freaking one-of-one one scum stash pack. Where else are you going to get something like that? That is freaking sweet. Should be a beard pack, too. There might be one in here. No comment needed pack. We'll do this one next. <clears throat> See what we have inside of... He's my Huckleberry. Raleigh still needs... Probably still needs to be confronted. You're right, man. <clears throat> when is that lynch mob going to form? Oh, my goodness. I don't know if it's going to be possible to go through this without making comments. When the very first card puts such an awful, sour taste in my mouth, when it's none other than Zane Smith, does not get more hideous <laughs> than that card. That is awful. Absolutely awful. Matt Williams and his big beer gut sticking out there. I don't remember him ever having a beer gut, but Matt Williams, when he was pregnant for a brief period of time, <laughs> that's around in third base. Floyd fans says, hey, John, I bought a couple of packs of Allen and Ginter and got a Dylan Carlson rookie mini medal by far my biggest hit ever. And yes, I had Taco Bell. David, thank you very much for that. I appreciate that, dude. That is freaking awesome. Dylan Carlson mini medal. How hard are those to pull? I have not seen one of those yet, but Dylan Carlson, definitely a nice one. Andrew P., what is happening? Chet Lemon uh, scratching his pits and absolutely covered in sweat. Spanky LaValier, always loved Spanky LaValier. Big TMNT fan. I wonder if he still collects TMNT. <laughs> Tortoise versus Hare. What a, is this Allen and Ginter? Tops Tribute, 29 out of 99. Greatest Rivalries Revisited. This is super... 
odd. I did not know this was a thing. Aesop's Fables. This is from 2010 Tops Tribute. Super random. I love that card. That is awesome. Louis Polonia. I don't know what he's doing. Taking the lead with a, a bat attached to his hip almost. Like a sword. You know, 93 Verdeck always had lots of weird photos. Random photos. <laughs> and this one is no exception. Uh, there's Paul O'Neill for Mikey G, if he's still with us. Kind of a suggestive card there. As is this one, too, I guess, if you catch my drift. But Paul O'Neill looking like that figure Wicked Wheelie that I picked up from the other day that uh, was very suggestive. And I'm sure people <laughs> caught on to that like this Randy Velarde. <laughs> Randy, I guess all of these are like that. I didn't really realize that. Interesting uh, positioning of these bats. Very interesting. <laughs> Same thing with Randy Velarde and Mark Lemke and those dorky glasses. Oh, I love it. And, of course, Sid Bream at the end of the pack. I think it's actually a Sid Bream rookie card, I think. Could be wrong. No, he's on the Dodgers for a few years before this, but... I don't know. I don't, couldn't tell you last time I saw a Sid Bream rookie card, but... <laughs> Sid Bream uh, looking pretty dorky on that last one there. I guess we'll do this one next. This one's already kind of busting open because it looks like it's a Project 2020. J17. Whoa, look at that. Mark McGuire. I don't know if Jay Hadley's still in here or not. The big PC collector of McGuire, but it's imitating his 1987 Topps card. That is an awesome, awesome drawing, though. Iconic 87 Tops Big Mac. Wow. Freaking sweet. I think I have one of these. Dirk Remington sent it to me. If Dirk's still in here, I have the Frank Thomas 90 Tops Project 2020 redesign. The cards are so cool. I think they did them again in 2021, didn't they? I, I haven't heard or seen anything about them, but super cool McGuire. I love that one. Very, very nice touch there, Scott. So much cool stuff in here. Still so much to go through. Air miscuts. <laughs> There's a rookie pack coming. Chipper Jones, 92 Stadium Club insert coming up. And we were literally just talking about <laughs> Randy Hunley. He sent it to me. This is from what? Topps Heritage, I believe. He literally was like, what the hell is this? It's a 1970. It's an actual authentic 72 card stamped. 50th anniversary. Randy Hundley and those gnarly mutton chops. <laughs> he went ahead and sent that to me. Here's Donnie Baseball. Very nice. Dan W., if you don't have that one, I'll take it and I'll put it in your next package that I have going out to you. The Walter Use Collection. Fred McGriff, 85 Tops Design out of 2020. That's Clemens. Another Donnie Baseball. 83 Design. The Rotten Apple is a designated hitter, Mouth Phil. Five baseballs in his mouth. He's kind of uh, imitate those old, what was it, baseball's biggest gross outs. You guys remember those from like the early 90s? I used to like them a real lot, but I was always pissed off because they weren't listed in Beckett, as I was with everything else, as an angry, angry little kid who hated everything, <laughs> including Hal Morris and all these other players. But if it wasn't listed in Beckett, then I hated it. And this is pretty sick, though. Operation Yorktown 3, a G.I. Joe card, G.I. Joe Costume Club. I'm not sure what year this is from, but this is pretty freaking awesome. It's kind of newer since 2015. That is pretty awesome. Never seen that before. So another one for the G.I. Joe video here. Another 59, too, <laughs> with Drysdale featured on this one. Hitters, foes. Freaking sweet. like that one a lot. And that one's for my PC now. And Chipper Jones, second year card, number one draft pick to the 90s. This is a insert from 92 Stadium Club. Out of a three-card set, I think it was Chipper. Was it Phil Nevin and Brian Taylor that completed this set? Maybe it was Jason Giambi. It was either Phil Nevin or Giambi that were in that set, but that's a nice Chipper. I like that one. Might have to go get a drink here soon. I feel like I'm going to die. <laughs> Left Behind Tops says, what's up, John? Loving these packs. If you're bored later, check the, de the, de the decrepit daycare video. I did not even see that you posted a video, Left Behind Times. 
I was not notified of it, but if that happens with you guys, the best thing to do, if you're not getting notified of videos at all from me or anybody else, <laughs> go and click un or unsubscribe, then click subscribe again and check the bell. Because, um, I don't know, I feel like YouTube has a way of doing that. Check out Left Behind Times if you have not already. I just post a link to his channel, but I will check that out later. <laughs> Urban Exploration, Decrepit Daycare. Uh, thank you for that, man. I appreciate that. Just pissed, Pack. So this must be players that are all pissed off. Clinton says, I get notified. I feel like Clinton always does. He's always the first one in these live streams. It looks like we have a Cobra pin here. So along with the theme of G.I. Joe, there we go. And some more. And G.I. Joe animation card even in here. Sparky Anderson incoming, Paul says. Joe says, I didn't get notified. Yeah, the best thing to do is go hit unsubscribe and hit subscribe again and turn the bell on. It does that. I don't know. It's like a glitch. If you make the G.I. Joe video, you can come over and play with my Terra drone, but you can't play with the USS. <laughs> That's a deal, man. I will take that freaking deal. I love it. Leading off, we got Bo Jackson, 93 Leaf. And Floyd fans says, many medals for hobby are 1 in 3,108 odds, I think. That is freaking crazy, man. Well, congratulations on that pool. I don't think I've ever pulled anything that great before. I think the best thing I ever pulled in my life, insert-wise, was probably, <laughs> I don't know, the 92 Upper Deck, Tom Selleck, Frank Thomas, Mr. Baseball, short print. That's probably one per box. Bo Jackson, 90, <laughs> 93 Leaf, super pissed, Dykstra. That is a freaking awesome card and kind of suggestive as well. Screaming in the ump's face, and Joe, or I thought I was going to say, I was going to say Joe Orsalak, Mickey Tennelton, a giant gnaw in. A9 per deck, looking furious. Jeff Reardon. I would love to know what these dudes are looking at. Just having a case of the Mondays. This goes very well with today's day of the week. Felix Jose looks pissed. Yount. Like he just ground it out or something like that. Dave Stewart. I've never seen this one recently. Dave Stewart always looks so pissed off. John Smiley, who ironically never smiled on any of his cards. I think maybe one. In the late 80s, he had one card where he was actually smiling. And Mr. T, 18, don't mess with BA. <laughs> From 1983 sticker card. Freaking sweet. And a G.I. Joe animated card art by Nathan Ollendorf. Freaking awesome. P1. Can't say I've ever seen that one before. Dave Stewart just mad he got caught. Wow. So much to rip into. Randomly do this one next. Once again, check out Scott's product down below. These hobby boxes. They did sell fast. I want to say he sold 50 plus of these after the last video. And people were definitely satisfied. And they got very good reviews. Looks like we have another hit in here. Covered up by the puzzle pieces of Hank Aaron once again. Whoa. Umpire auto with the 82 Tops design of Las Diaz. Numbered out of 99. That is pretty freaking sweet. <laughs> I'm not even sure what set this is from. 2019 Tops, it looks like. Number 20 out of 1999. Autographed his crotch there, standing sassy with his hands on his hips. Laz Diaz, umpire, auto. I didn't even know that they put these into packs. That is pretty freaking sweet. Kruger says, where did you get all the mystery packs, John? Uh, they were produced and made by a guy named Scott. And if you want to get yourself one, they are linked down below. Um, this is like a special Passes Alive um, package that he sent just for me, which is very, very cool of him. Freaking weird, random autograph. I love that, though. That is so cool. So make this out to Tony, right? Um, <laughs> what does that say? 200 mile per hour tape? <laughs> Something attached to the back of here. Let's see what we got. Thank you guys all for joining us tonight, sticking with me. This rip. All kinds of goodies. All the Joe West autographs we burned. Yeah, where's Joe West at? Where in the world is he at right now? What do we have here? I'm intrigued by this. Scott definitely put a lot of time and effort into this. <laughs> oh, man. What is this? What is it? 
Oh, man. Bob Greasy autograph. That is freaking sweet. I don't know if that's an inside joke or what, but there was a video I did a while back where I was going through a tote full of cards I bought for like 30 bucks or something. They're all in top loaders. But um, there's some Bob Greasy cards in there, and I was calling them Bob Grease. <laughs> oh, people were pissed at me for that. People were very pissed, and I even put a disclaimer in the video saying, yeah, just so you know, I, uh, my football and other sports knowledge outside of baseball is pretty crappy, so if I mispronounce names, don't hold it against me. Well, what did everyone do? They held it against me. And um, that was one thing that I uh, still get backlash from. Old Bob Grease. That's pretty freaking awesome. I'm pretty sure Bob Greasy is a Hall of Famer. <coughs> Excuse me. Well, I... I admire this auto. That's, that is so cool. I guess it's a real auto. I don't think it's a facsimile. I don't know. I could be wrong. Red Snappers and Cowboy Killers. But uh, we'll open the rest of this one up first. I'm the football guy. Ask me. JCC says. That is true. <laughs> now I can stop calling you Tony. Oh, the day has finally come. Tony Gwynn 88 tops in the back of this one. And Tony Gwynn 88 tops in the front of this one with Benito Santiago. It is real. That is freaking awesome, man. Love it. That is super cool. What do we have here? Bruce Hurst. <laughs> Eric Shaw. I feel like I've never seen that one before either. Caught totally off guard. So these are all guys signing. Very interesting pack. Gary Carter. Looks like he's about to get some chick's phone number. Nagel. I used to be a big fan of Danny Nagel. And a very young Conan O'Brien. With this outstretched broken arm, it looks like. Is his arm in a cast? Well, that guy is persistent. Look at that. Nagel's signing that program, and Conan O'Brien is literally trying to shove this ball in his face. <laughs> oh, that is glorious. Roger McDowell blowing bubbles. I feel like he was always blowing bubbles. Derek May. Mark Portugal, the lollipop. <clears throat> Don Powell. Jeff Bagwell. <laughs> For a second there, I thought he had an iPhone. I'm like, wait, what is going on here? 1993 Burdett card. Jeff Bagwell is holding like an iPhone 6. What is going on with this conspiracy here? But it looks like a 92 Tops card he's autographing. Vision Streetwear sticker. Very sweet. Jimmy, Jimmy G Comic Guy says, I bought four of these boxes. They are awesome. That is freaking sweet, man. Tony Gwynn is the final card of the pack. 88 Tops. Very, very cool pack there. Conan wants him to sniff his cast. <laughs> Bagwell might be a time travel or tat traveler. I feel like he is. It's an iPhone 6, a 93 deck card. There is something more to that, I swear. Bob Greasy is in the Hall of Fame and quarterback to only undefeated team winning Super Bowl. Also, 72 Dolphins. Your history lesson for the day, John. <laughs> well, thank you, man. You learn something new every day, and that is what I learned. Courtesy of Mark R. Brown paper bagwell, or as Corey calls them, bagpipes. Corey is not with us, so feel free to take as many shots at him as you as you uh, feel inclined to. We have an autograph here. The drum roll, please. Bob Walk, <laughs> Bob. Joe's card corral. You are getting this card, man. This is getting given to you. I still have cards to give you from the auction from last week, but. I have this one already. Stemmer's Hits. I haven't seen them in a while, but Stemmer's Hits sent me a box like oh, earlier this year, late last year, that had this card in it and it made me crack up and lose it. It's Toff's Archives. Fan favorites. Bob Walk, certified auto. <laughs> Joe's Card Corral says, um, thanks. Yeah, Joe's Card Corral definitely hated Bob Walk. I feel like we all hated Bob Walk. Vision Streetwear was a staple here in California, 8990. Vision Streetwear definitely was, man. Sweet Bob Walk Auto that's going to Joe's Card Corral. He can put that in the background of his videos. <laughs> but do you have an auto? Better keep it. I do I do have an auto already. I have that same exact card. <laughs> Emerging from <laughs> Primordial Mist. And we have another hit here. 
We gotta find a Jeff Juden auto too. We definitely need one of those for Joe. Jimmy Walker, Pop Century Classic Rolls JJ. <coughs> Excuse me, and Jimmy Walker from Leaf. Uh, that is an interesting signature, and this one's numbered 49 out of 50. That is freaking awesome. Classic rolls. I didn't even know this was a real thing or a card. Freaking sweet. <laughs> the chat goes wild. Oh, that is awesome. I was not expecting that at all. These these packs are freaking great. Such a nice mixture of non-sport cards and humor. Dynamite. Freaking sweet. I didn't even know that was existed. Love it. These are like all hit packs, basically. <laughs> the card definitely is dynamite. Dark Sparse, I want that card. All right, what the hell is Taco Bell? A Taco Bell gift card. Scott, 15 bucks. Wow. That is amazing, man. I don't even know what to say. I am touched by this. That is freaking awesome. There's some sort of like Illuminati sign. That's a very mysterious Illuminati like Taco Bell. All the different symbolisms and triangles and everything. <laughs> the Eye of Horus. That is freaking awesome, man. Wow. Wow. The biggest hit of the box. No, I'm just kidding. That is freaking sweet, though, man. The one last thing. Open this one last. We'll put that next to. All the ancient symbolisms of Taco Bell. That is awesome, man. Thank you so much, Scott. Did not have to do that. Red Snappers and Cowboy Killers. One of one. I'm guessing this is going to have Marlboro signs in the background. <laughs> Illuminati was their thing for like a month, the Data Dookie says. Yeah, I feel like it, it definitely was. I love Ronald McDonald. <laughs> Taco Bell is Illuminati confirmed. Get that graded. I love Ronald McDonald. As a kid, and as kids, I cannot believe that we were all not afraid of Ronald McDonald. Just just think about that. I guess if you saw the movie It back as a kid, which I didn't. It wasn't until later in my life that I saw It, but I would have been completely freaked out by Ronald McDonald. Gonna get some Montezuma's Revenge. <laughs> Very nice. Loving these pins inside of here, though. We got more 93 per deck, it looks like, or a couple more. Wally Joyner and Jose and Seiko very early on in their careers. The Budweiser sign right in the back. You got to freaking love that. Scott's been paying close attention to these billboards in the background. I've been collecting these and putting them aside now, the ones that have offensive tobacco alcohol signs. Ever since they censored the Randy Johnson Marlboro billboard, but they left all these other ones alone. I always was intrigued by that, but Budweiser sign right there. We all float down here, JCC says, with the It reference. Look at that one. That's a good one, too. Mitch Williams, huge Budweiser sign in the background. It's cut off, so that's why they didn't censor it. This one's got a nice one as well. Budweiser behind Jeff Treadway, who has an error card, an 89 Fleer that's sitting right next to me, but I'm not going to pull it out. That'll be coming out for the error card video next year. Dirk Remington just smashed that like button. We have 172 people watching. Dirk, thanks, man. I appreciate that. Yeah, if you enjoy the video, please hit the thumbs up or hit the thumbs down. Either way, it's still an interaction, so it still helps the algorithm. If you enjoy the videos and it suggests them for other people who can also rejoice in the days of collecting and looking for offensive billboards. <laughs> Labatt Blue sign in the background. Like that one. Never knew that one existed. That's pretty sick. Mark Gardner, there's a Marlboro sign right next to his neck you can make that one out clear as day i never knew that one about that one either so that's definitely going to my offensive stack looks like we got there's a marlboro sign back there i think with a bud dry or a couple bud dry signs another nice one 91 per deck geez all kinds of hidden symbolism in that set <laughs> cut off budweiser sign beside behind milk kyler signing a program with bud dry Basically, forcing kids to become alcoholics at a young age. Bud Light? <laughs> Upper deck, what are you doing? Oh, that's a good one. This Bud's for you behind John Ellis. Nice one there. I think he sent me a picture of that one a while ago. And Lane Thomas. 
I don't see what is in the background on this one. I'd have to look closer, I guess. I can't quite tell. A newer Heritage card. I'm surprised. Whatever's back there. It looks like a Budweiser sign at the very top. I miss the days where you could buy a beer at the stadium and tell them it was for your dad. <laughs> and Ryan Sandberg ends this pack with some grass-stained knees. Very, very nice. I'll send that one off to Craig B. if he doesn't have it. And if he's still with us. He may have abandoned us by now. I don't know. Very, very cool pack. Because it's your favorite is the next pack. What is this? Another Project 2020 card. I bought 200 beers for my dad. <clears throat> and look at that. Mariano Rivera. Wow. With a fanny? Is he wearing a fanny pack? <laughs> what the hell? That is freaking sweet. Love that Mo Rivera 92 Bowman. Iconic card. The New York uh, shirt jersey, I guess. Whatever you want to call that with um, the Metallica text. <laughs> with a fanny pack. Oh, man. That is pretty freaking awesome. Love it. Love 92 Bowman. Scott definitely pays close attention, I guess, to my stupid comments that I make on all my videos. He definitely did his research. VA Beach Collectibles says, Taco Bell gift card case hit. VA Beach, thank you, man. It definitely uh, is going to come in handy, man. Wow, was not expecting that. That is so freaking cool. Check out VA Beach Collectibles. I don't know if he has a channel or not. Paulo could post a link to him. I cherished it as a kid pack. So much cool stuff. Craig B is still with us. Is still here. Thanks, man. Craig, do you need that Ryan Sandberg? Do you need any of these Ryan Sandbergs? Let me know, man. I always try to put them aside for you. I'm glad you're with us. I wasn't sure if you had to dip out because I know you were driving. Look at that. Don Mattingly, 86 tops. <laughs> is this the all 86 tops Mattingly pack? Along with that rack pack that I saw earlier. It, it looks like it's going to be. A link to Craig B. Check him out. It might be Craig B. Imposter, so don't get your hopes entirely up. But if you sub, if you sub to Craig B. Imposter, then uh, that's okay, too. He needs some love as much as our buddy Craig B. does. <laughs> Look at this. Look at all these Donnie baseballs. 86 tops. Dan Wilson, if you don't have this card, you're definitely getting one of these. And another 86 tops design out of 2021 tops. Toff's Chrome Prism. That is freaking awesome. Wow. Endless 86 tops. Mattingly. <laughs> what? The, uh, Joe Carter. What, what is going on? I've never seen this car before. A guy wearing a Don Mattingly shirt in the stands. Looks like he's about to get bean in the chest with, that, with like a freaking home run ball that Joe Carter could not get to in time. This is the most chaotic card of all time. I don't even, I can't even comprehend this. This is absolutely wild. <laughs> what is, or is that ball on his shirt? I can't tell. That is absolutely insane. I freaking love it. Don Mattingly hit pack of 86 tops and the 86 rack pack included as well in this box. That was freaking awesome. I love that Joe Carter. That is one of the coolest cards I've ever seen. I wonder if that guy is still alive. Like, home run ball right to the chest. <clears throat> Joe Carter, like... To the second degree murder. <laughs> so that's what happened to Joe Carter. <laughs> it's absolutely insane. What do you have here? If there's no Sabo in here. It'll be a catastrophe. Oh, man. I can only imagine what we have in here. Dark Sparse's Carter card makes my brain hurt. Yeah, that is absolutely nuts. I, I'm obsessed with that card. I'm absolutely obsessed with it. This must be an all Sabo pack. I see a 90 leaf on the back of this one. It is. Goggle the Sabo for your viewing pleasure leading this off. Studio 91. Can't wait to see who his heroes are. <clears throat> Al Kaline, Norm Cash, and Willie Horton. I feel like we looked at that before. Collects books. Watches Sports Center. Likes big band and rock music. I wonder if he watches this channel. I feel like we have to get him on here at some point. <laughs> the All Sabo Dream Pack. 
89 Gold Cup, second year card. First upper deck card, but I guess it was everyone's first upper deck card back in 1989. So I guess you can consider that a rookie. Here's one I would have hated as a kid. I think it's Eric Davis and Todd Benziger greeting Sabo at home plate. I would have been furious about this one as a kid as well as Joe's card corral. There's one I did not have, so that will go to the PC. Sabo Infinity, Michael P. says. And, of course, the Diamond Kings card that I once autographed and sent to somebody. I don't know who got that. It was a long time ago, but somebody asked me for that specifically. <laughs> so I did it. If you are in the chat, please let me know if that was you. Errors, misguts, and a cat pack to go along with the Thundercats pin. Not as furious as the Reds October card. Yeah, we hated that card. I tried to find that in a PSA 10 and send it to Joe. But I know he'd be so pissed about that. Goggleless Sabo Joe S says, Oh, look at this. The Paul Gibson error card that we have all come to love. That is freaking awesome. This card was corrected later on. But uh, the crotch grab in the background was airbrushed out of the corrected version. <laughs> Oh, I love that. It is glorious. Paul Gibson crotch grab. So awesome. Joel Youngblood. I don't know what the error on this card is. You'd have to help me out if it's like a decimal point or whatever it may be. A birthday error. I have no idea, but that's one I did not know. I guess it's going to force me to do the error card video. Let me know what the, uh, the significance of that one is. Floyd Finnegan says, I once found a Sabo shrine at an estate sale. <laughs> Oh, I'd love to know more about that, man. That is glorious. Not every day you stumble onto a Sabo shrine, especially at an estate sale. That is probably the coolest thing I've ever heard of, at least. Appreciate that, Floyd fan. Joe S. says, what other entries would need to be in the Passes Alive glossary? There are definitely quite a few. There should be a, an official TPIA glossary. This is the... Uh, is this the McGuire era card? Yeah, I guess it is. 88 Tops, Record Breakers... Um, they left this little speck of white here. See that next to his shoe? That wasn't supposed to be white. That is an error that I believe they went back and corrected. Frankie Turner says white in the lower right corner by foot on, on Big Mac. Yeah, I couldn't tell if this was actually the corrected version or not, and that was part of his shoe, but that is the part that was supposed to be um, airbrushed red. Joe Youngblood, not a pitcher, is the air. I didn't even notice that. I was not even paying paying attention to the symbol next to his name. So, that is pretty awesome. I like that one a lot. Normally, the ones with statistics or statistical errors and stuff like that, I don't collect those. But uh, that's definitely a good one for my error video that people have been demanding from me for way too long and will be released at some point. John Tudor, the spelling error. That's a pretty cool one, too. Did not know that one existed. Early 90s class. I think that's early 90s. Maybe it's late 80s, actually. 87. It's the very first year of classic, I believe. I don't think they had classic in 86, but John Tudor spelled wrong with a T instead of a D. That's a pretty awesome one, too. Did not know about that one. Jeff Pendleton. <laughs> Jeff Pendleton, <coughs> otherwise known as Terry Pendleton, just uncovered this out of a pack recently. Scar says... Was there a 90 leaf in that Sabo pack? If not, it's going to show up in the wrong pack. Um, did I not show the 90 leaf? Maybe it was stuck to the other one. Oh, wow, you're right. That, that Diamond Kings card was stuck to this Sabo auto. Is that a legit Sabo auto? Is that what I think it is? Or is that a forgery? Whatever it is, that is beautiful. 90 Leaf in itself is a beautiful set, but an autographed, actual autograph. <laughs> Chris Sabo. Oh, man. Glorious. Absolutely glorious. This pack just never, ever ends. Scott R says it's real. I feel like if I sent TTM to Chris Sabo, he'd probably sign that FU on it or something. <laughs> Send it back to me. I would not doubt it. Definitely real. That is freaking awesome. Al Lighter, error card. It's actually, was it Steve Cook, I believe, pictured on this one? They did correct this one, though. That's definitely a good one, too. Catching up, that J.J. Walker is awesome. That was freaking sweet, man. Freaking sweet Sabo Auto. <coughs> There's still so much more. 
Nolan Ryan, 86 tops. I was not familiar with the air on this one. Ooh, it's a miscut. Very cool. Check that out. The set or whatever I bought recently for five bucks, it like, looks like a lot of these were cut pretty bad in the back. They look pretty nice in the front, but then you flip it over. Like This one looks awesome left to right. Even top to bottom looks pretty good. But uh, yeah, the back. Bad miscut. That's pretty freaking sweet. I like that one. Chris Sabo saw my goggles I bought from Walmart as a kid. <laughs> That's sick. Was he like pissed about it? Like he thought you were making fun of him or was he stoked? A Garfield card here. <clears throat> Never seen these from 97. Garfield was still a thing in 97. I guess Garfield's never really gone away, but I remember watching Garfield and Friends as a kid, and I loved it. <clears throat> and my brother, I, I was, I think I went to, what was it? I think I went to speech therapy when I was in like first grade or something like that. And I hated going to this class. It was the most awkward thing ever. I hated it. It was like one-on-one -on -one directly with this lady. And this is where Garfield and Friends ties into this. My brother told me that she looked like Orson Pig or something like that, or to picture Orson Pig when she's sitting there trying to tell me to speak to her. And every time I would go in there, I would lose it in her face. And she didn't know why I was laughing, and she would always question me, like, what's so funny? What's so funny, John? And I'd be like, nothing. <laughs> because I'm picturing you being Orson Pig. Well, that's a reference for Garfield, and it just popped in my head. That is a freaking sweet Garfield card, though, in his leather jacket with a thumbs up. And a Bo Jackson classic from the late 80s with the yellow border. Freaking sweet. Love that Bo Jackson. Nice pack there. And I don't even know what the air on this one is. Maybe it's a... It doesn't look like a miscut. Huh. It's cool they have a place for an autograph down here. Never really noticed that. I don't know if I'd want the back of the card autograph, though. Who as a kid would want that? Green back. It's a green back, huh? Huh. Pretty freaking sweet. No Photoshop, no problem. Hand me that brush. Any John Arbuckle rookies? <laughs> John Arbuckle was actually voiced by the same guy who did Peter Venkman. And... I forget which one, which character that was. You'll have to help me out on that one. But he was wearing a kilt. I remember him wearing a kilt back then. Very interesting. His name is eluding me. But this next one, no Photoshop, no problem. Hand me that brush. Mayor McCheese. <laughs> okay, now it's ringing a bell. Lou Pinella manager card is leading us off. I don't know if I've ever seen that one. It's definitely like a Mandela effect for me. Is that a Thrasher sticker? That's pretty sick. Official, one of the official Thrasher logos. Love it. Of course, Thrasher magazine. Dave LaPointe. Rick Honeycutt. <laughs> Tito Lynn. It literally looks like all these guys were photoshopped in front of these backgrounds. Hence the reason for the name. Super weird green screen. And they're all in 88 tops. Don Baylor. I feel like I've never seen any of these cards before. And I've looked through 88 tops so many times and opened cases of them, literally. Storm Davis. <laughs> and this one's probably the worst. Vicente Palacios for Paul L. Too bad there's no Al Padrique in there. And ending it with a Photoshop of Griffey from his iconic 89 traded rookie card. Freaking awesome. This is not the rookie. This is 70 years of tops. Cool back to that one. It says reprint right there. Was that 2009 or 2010 tops? Griffey. Very nice. Yeah, those all from 88 tops, basically. <laughs> Definitely green screen those ones. Still got a bunch to rip into. Uh, multi cook pack. Oh, geez. I can only imagine what is in here. Paul else is 2010. Still got a good bit to open. I appreciate you guys still being here with me. Look at that. Dennis Cook, 92 Bowman. In honor of Dennis Cook.
<laughs> oh, there it is. There it is. Right on top. Right on top. Love it. The homicidal Dennis Cook, followed by more homicidal Dennis Cook. <laughs> oh, best card to ever exist. Oh, no. The signature series of Dennis Cook. What is this from 96 Leaf Signature Series? I've wondered if I box these forever. <laughs> and they're so expensive because of a possible junior auto. Like, they're like, if you find one, they're like 600 bucks. At least they were a year ago. Now they're probably like a thousand or more. But that is freaking sweet. People have sent me multiple omens from this exact set. And now I have the man himself, Dennis Cook's official authentic signature, along with his auto on 92 Bowman, my favorite set of all time. That is just heartwarming to see those two together. <laughs> oh, man, that is freaking awesome. I can't contain myself. I'm kicking the camera here. The Bowman is real, too, to go along with the Sabo. <laughs> it's like Thanos was giving him a prostate exam. Oh, man, that was epic. Rookie pack. We got more stuff taped on here. Jeez. God, you went all out for this, man. No wonder it took him weeks to send this out. He kept telling me that uh, he had more stuff to get for it. Right off the bat, a Project 2020 Clemente. Wow. I owned one Project 2020 before tonight. Now I have four. It's a freaking sweet Motor Vera, McGuire, and now Roberto Clemente. That's an awesome looking card, though. Love it. Ben B says, hey, from Ohio, John. Ben B, what is happening, man? Freaking sweet. Scott, thank you again, man. You did not have to go to these great lengths. To do all this. What's the story behind that Cook photo of VA Beach says? There is no story behind it other than the fact that I've always been super intrigued by that card. And I remember seeing it as a kid. And I was like, what the hell? <laughs> what, is, what is going on? And then, like, I forgot all about it. And then years later, I randomly came across it and was like, oh, man. There it is. And all these feelings came rushing back. And... What was he thinking taking that picture? <laughs> this is going to be immortalized on a baseball card for all time. And that is the pose that you took. Dennis Cook seems like he would be a lot of fun to hang out with. I love him, and I hope to do a rip with him someday. So me and my Dennis Cook shrine is not me making fun of him whatsoever. It is, <laughs> it is me looking up to him, if anything. He is freaking awesome. I feel like he'd be an awesome dude to have a a beer with someday hopefully make that happen dennis cook if you're watching we salute you you have tons of fans still out here and i am number one <laughs> john s says this is a great community you all rock john s thank you man i appreciate that right back at you thank you for being here with us definitely um all the people in here are make these live streams what they are you guys are all the best Seems like there's a lot of, there's different genres of card collectors. There's people that are real serious and like snooty almost. I just don't really, I don't really understand that. But I feel like anybody that's in here, no one's really like that. We all collect because we enjoy it. We enjoyed it as a kid. It takes us back to a simpler time. And um, yeah, we all just have that in common. We have a community through cardboard, dirty old cardboard. It's freaking awesome. The, what is this, 2012 design, I think? Clemente, 70 years of tops. Joe S is the same as true in the comic book community. I have heard that. I definitely have heard that. John S is not of a channel, Paul, but thank you for looking anyways. So this is like the Clemente Super Pack here. I did, I have seen these. These are out of 2021 Heritage. The great one. I do have a small little Clemente collection of his vintage cards. I think I have like five of them. Uh, if I see them for a good price, I'll pick them up. Stargell, nice one there. Just sold his rookie last Wednesday. I picked up his rookie, too, for 30 bucks the week prior to that. 63 tops. It's a cool card, though. Is that Topps Tribute, maybe? And the 1971 design. This was this is a reprint. Uh, two, and this is actually from 98 tops. With the uh, protective coating still on there. Van Guardian says, collecting for the love of... That's what it's all about, man. That is definitely what it's all about what it comes down to it's what it should always be about not a competition or anything else but collecting because you enjoy it if you do it for that reason then it will be with you forever 
that makes any sense. Trying to get up on some of these uh, chat. Tom B says, Scott's boxes are the real deal. I bought two and they were amazing. He did a multi-sport box just for me and it was great. Also got the Ripken lot. John, it was great. Thank you. Tom B, I'm glad to hear that, man. I, I've heard nothing but good things about these this product that people have received. One-on-one -on -one exclusive. The trio of question marks on here. I don't know. <laughs> There's like a weird bulge to this package. I'm like, is there a fudge round in there or something? I don't think that you put a fudge round in here, but Rob H, thank you, man. I pretty is there a bunch of dirty old gum in here? <laughs> it is. Oh man, I'm not I'm not gonna eat that. Salute Clemente's JC says this thing is packed full of filthy old gum that I kinda wanna try, but I'm not gonna put you through that. I feel like I should. I don't really know the origin of the gum, what year this is from, but it all looks pretty healthy and pink. That sounded filthy. <laughs> Cover your ears. You said bulge. I've said more filthy stuff than that in the last few seconds, but check that out. Nice stack of what looks to be edible gum from ranging from all different years, and I wouldn't be a true card collector if I didn't try this and swallow it. And I do one Bowman. Take me back. I feel like that piece I just ate was not from 1991. It tastes like it's from 1989. <laughs> it tastes filthy. 91 Bowman does not taste like this. I will chew it anyways. But I will not swallow it. It was good, but... <laughs> Scott R said it was 89. I knew it! I knew it. I ate the oldest piece. I feel like I did. I could tell right away that that was from 1989. <laughs> oh, God, I've killed the host. Barry Bonds and a gum stain in the back of this one. It looks like we're going to have a lot of gum stain cards in here. Tastes like freedom. <laughs> I'll give you that. It definitely does taste like freedom. I got a 59 Topps Clemente still in a screw-down case. That is awesome, man. Hang on to that one forever. Right off the bat, I... <laughs> I don't think I've ever seen that one before. Has anybody ever seen that card? That is freaking awesome. Bazooka Blowing Champ. 70, 76 tops? That's a pretty awesome one. Corey's actually putting that set together. I don't know if he's ever seen that one either. That's a freaking impressive bubble. Holy crap. Jeez. Definitely a nice one there. <laughs> Took the liberty of sending me all his gum stain cards. Dave Rigetti. The worst is if you had like a Griffey with a gum stain on it. Awful. Boggs. Chuck Finley. It's like, a, it's like a mask tan line. It's like a freaking... That is weird. <laughs> Robin Yount. And Bonds. A devastating gum stain. It's got a March Madness time bracket. <laughs> The all gum stain team, 61 Clemente, PSA 8 was a recent, was my recent ad. That's sick. And a stack of dirty old gum that I am not going to eat, but we will keep it here to showcase. That's what we do. Worse than a Griffey gum stain is the Al Padrique gum stain. That is true, man. We'll turn to this next one. Case of pack provided doesn't produce. See inside after you rip the pack. This is just absolute, I'm looking at the screen now, and it's absolute chaos. There's so much happening on here at once. <laughs> Scotty Arms, Manny's a super, we got freaking Dennis Cook living room set. We have Dennis Cook autographs, Taco Bell, Illuminati gift card, Dirty Old Gum from 1989, 1991, Mystery Packs, a Nolan Ryan Beckett stickers, Vintage Pins, and a 1990 Tops Rack Pack that might have, might just have Ben McDonald rookie card in it. <laughs> Paul L, you said it, man. This is absolute chaos. And there's plenty more where that came from. Look at that. Donnie Baseball in the back of the first pack. It's a controlled chaos. Cherish it, Michael P says. Maybe we'll find ourselves. Frank Thomas rookie card inside of here. It's only right that the table looks like the floor. Yeah, 
Maybe I should show you the floor to go along with this table. It's a good thing. <laughs> Big Race is pink and fresh, and you won't swallow. You're killing me. <laughs> Mark R. and the inappropriate Super Chat. Thank you for that, Mark. Big Ray's Ball Cards and Auctions. Check him out if you have not already in this live stream. Appreciate that. <laughs> I was hoping someone was going to catch on to that comment. Nolan Ryan, 5,000 Ks in his Mets Uni. Let's see if we can sign, find some of these more, more Mandela effects in here. Johnny Bench, turn back the clock. Fred Manrique, that's another good one for the Stash series. Andy Bennis, second year card. Steve Olin. Record breaker, Vince Coleman, Lee Mazzilli, Donnie Baseball, always liked that one. There is a link to Big Race Channel. Paul L., thank you for holding it down since Corey abandoned me a long time ago and will be shunned moving forward. Jose Rio, Jeff Robinson, Malaki, <laughs> Paul Gibson. There's Dennis Eckersley for Scott, who probably has that card times 10. I would imagine. Spanky LaValier, Bo Jackson, Pagnozzi, who actually has an error card that Frankie Turner told me about in 1990 Don Russ. It's actually a string on his glove that they airbrushed out later on. Dave LaPointe, who was in the Photoshop pack earlier. Alfredo Griffin, very pissed off antics of George Brett. Pat Sheridan, I feel like I called that one a Mandela effect before at some point. Rhino, Steve Lake in that leg kick, and the all-star card of Wade Boggs that were one per rack pack to end that off. And we have two more of these, and then we have this special bundle here. And then there's a white ball mailer, so sorry to keep you up past your bedtime, but <clears throat> it will probably be worth it more than likely. I feel like it's already been worth it. Saving this one for last. Does this mean last for the green packs or last after these, Scott? So this one next in case the pack provided to obviously open this one we did not find anything that crazy in 1990 rack whoa look at that there is the frank thomas iconic rookie card i was wondering if that was what's going to be inside of here some sort of frank thomas variation i have one of these that dirk remington sent me but it's a different one than this one different artist that is so freaking cool. That literally screams 90s with all those triangles. It screams 90s and Illuminati. <laughs> triangles everywhere. <laughs> that is pre pretty freaking sweet. The suggestive card. Rookie of Frank Thomas. Love it, man. Thank you so much, Scott. What is that, number four? Four Project 2020 cards for my collection now. And the one that Dirk sent me. That's freaking sweet. Arnie Waters says, wow, keep it up. So awesome. The Mandela effect is caused by the primordial black hole sitting just outside of our, our solar system, a.k.a. Planet 9, LOL. Yeah, that definitely very well could be a, a, a true phenomenon. Is it uh, Nibiru or Wormwood? Glossary entry, pissed off Sparking Anderson, turns out to be a nice guy when you meet him. <laughs> yeah, that definitely is a plot twist. Brian Smith says, I'm out. Have a good one, bro. Great vid as always, John. Brian Smith, thanks, man. I appreciate that. I appreciate you sticking around for most of the entire video. I will have something heading your way at some point. Scott R., do that pack last even after the white envelope. All right. See what we got here. Passes live sticker. What looks to be another note. You don't see kids with names like Wade Boggs nowadays. That is so true, man. I only see guys that I can't pronounce their name most of the time. Another sticker. So cool that you made those, man. Thank you. I'm gonna send be sending those off to people. Of course, I'll keep one for myself. But what do we have in here? Oh, no. It's a Faces pack. All right. Faces 1. These should be labeled. There's Faces 3. I know a guy with the last name Boggs. It wasn't the guy in Shawshank Redemption. The sassy leader. Wasn't his name Boggs? Pretty sure. I love Shawshank Redemption. It's a great movie. Why start now? 
<laughs> I'm gonna push these off to the side a little bit so there's not so much freaking clutter, but the faces pack is up now. Phase number one. There's way too much going on here. I'm looking at the list already. I, I already know what some of these cards are. Albert Bell leading this off and his stretching antics. My stretch game is on 100. <laughs> this is the very first one. Spike Owen. Look, I think John just told them he's going to do Junk Wax Jeopardy soon. <laughs> oh, that is very, very fitting quote for that card. I love these. These are great. Uh, Scott included these in the last box too. Bob Ojeda. And Tommy Lasorda, I'm trying to miss, make out what's going on in that card because I don't recognize that. But it says, I told you to stop doing that. You'll go blind. Now your damn hand is cramped an hour <laughs> before game time. And Bob Ojeda looks super bummed about it too. And I'm sure we all know the hidden message behind that quote. This card was always weird too. Oscar Azakar, um, you got that backwards. It's... It's two balls and one bat. Shake my head. I think we all know what that is in reference to as well. <laughs> I'm not going to say it, even though it is getting later in the evening. This is not rips after dark or anything, but uh, I think we all know what he's referring to. Clevenger. I, I love Clevenger. He's awesome, especially now, even more so that I see he has an actual skateboard on his freaking 2021 cars. Is this a short print? This is not a faces item. It is, however, a short print that combines baseball and skating and had to be included. That's freaking sweet, man. The Tony Hawk deck of all things. I'm obviously not a Tony Hawk fan. I feel like everyone thinks that. They're like, oh, you skate? Oh, you must love Tony Hawk. I, I never really did. Never really, really was a Tony Hawk fan. Maybe when I first started back in like 98 or 99, of course, I was into him. But then like a year later, I'm like, yeah, I'm over that guy. <laughs> Andrew Reynolds was my favorite back then after that. Once I saw the end. In 1999 or 98, whenever it was. But that's a freaking sweet short print. I don't really have any short prints, so that is very fitting. Awesome, awesome card there. I didn't know Post Malone had a card. <laughs> Van Gardner says I was a Pal Peralta guy, though. I always like Pal Peralta, too. On to faces number two. That was a sweet way to end that pack. Robbie Blumkin is greater than Tony Hawk. That is true, man. Yeah, they sold Hawk boards at Target. They sell all that crap at Target. Don't buy, if you're ever going to get a skateboard, don't buy one from Walmart or Target. They are awful. Absolutely awful. Uh, I, don't, I feel like they're like, I don't know. They're expensive too, I feel like. Complete junk. Yeah, McGill. <laughs> Mike McGill, McGill's Air Speeds. Those Walmart skate shoes. My buddy, who lives in Texas now, I don't really talk to him anymore, but I got him back into skating like 10 years ago and, uh, yeah, he would he would never buy actual skate shoes. He would buy McGill's Air Speeds. And for some reason, I call them Ninja Gaiden shoes. I don't know why, but I'm like, what, what, what are you doing wearing those Ninja Gaiden shoes? And they're horrible. They're $20. What do you expect? They didn't last at all. Garbage. I want an old Nash board. My first board ever was a Nash board. I have it in my parents' attic. And if I ever make that video, you will see. It's a Friday the 13th Nash uh, that I got when I was 8 years old. Ozzy Gian, 91 Stadium Club, this one says, Nah, Ozzy, you look great in that. Really? Absolutely. <laughs> Looks like a complete dork. Absolute dork. And Steve Olin, welcome to the gun show. I'm going to need to see your ticket. That That is so fitting for that card. And Mickey Hatcher, this one says, Who does crap like this? Wait, is that actual crap? <laughs> that definitely lo does look like Dated Dookie. <laughs> it definitely does. Stamping it out like I stamped out the mailman's burning bag of sabos long, long time ago. If any of you remember that, card number 666. And Tim Leona, the old trusty sack. <laughs> I like that one too. That's great. Yeah, this one is on fire, Scott says. In case you guys didn't see that, he literally is stamping out a bag of dookie. And Goose Gossage and that incredible scum stash says, dude, I'm, a, I'm as high as giraffe testicles. <laughs> I never heard that expression before, but I love it. I'm going to use that from now on. He definitely does look like he was living it up that day when that photo was shot. That is, that is absolutely wonderful. And a giant stack 
literally just collapsed next to me. But the show is going to continue. Too many top loaders and penny sleeves in one stack together. Not a good combination. This is what will happen. <laughs> There's so much going on on the screen. It's absolute pandemonium. Let me move some of this off to the side. This is what happens whenever you do a video you don't clean off your desk. Oh, we missed this one earlier too. Voltron. Pretty sick. Popped out of that pack. But, jeez. <laughs> too much fun going on here. All right, the <laughs> final faces pack. Faces number three. <laughs> Moves off to the side, AK. <laughs> AK, the toy room floor. The final faces pack. Winfield leading off. I've got four balls. Isn't that weird? This is one I just saw recently, I think, in a pack that I pulled out of a subscription box or something. <coughs> and we were looking at this one. <laughs> Hero Jackie Robinson. Tony Phillips. Interesting card there. Strangers in the night. Exchanging glances. <laughs> Very fitting for that photo as well. Oh, no. The Saber Hag in 91 Protect. Hey, girl. How you doing? <laughs> this totally looks like what he's saying right there. Brian Jordan. Smell this real quick. Stinks, doesn't it? That definitely looks like some sort of schmutz on his finger. <laughs> Dave Winfield again. No, seriously. It's pretty weird. Uh, I've got four balls. Oh, man. Those are always a great time. I don't know if Scott... Puts those in uh, the regular boxes or not, but he puts them in the boxes he sends me just for fun, and they always are. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed those very fitting quotes to those cards. We'll rip into these, we'll open the last pack, and then go into the final bubble mailer and see what awaits us in there. Another TPIA sticker that will be on a gas pump at a local sheets near me tomorrow. And people will be like, What the hell is that? <laughs> Passes alive? Hell? Is that a band or something? All right, this one's kind of stuck on here. Six days of darkness. Someone needs to do an all time scum stash pack. <clears throat> VA Beach Collectible says, Too funny, John. Thanks for the laughs. Great channel. VA Beach, thank you, man. I'm glad that you enjoy the videos. I feel like you're always in the live stream, so thank you for always participating, man, in the chat. Really appreciate that. I don't know if you have a channel, like I said earlier, but Paul, if you could post a link to VA Beach. Uh, if you do have a channel VA Beach, I don't know if I'm subscribed to you or not. I'll have to check that out after the live stream. And when you said thanks for the laughs and spelled them L-A-F-F-S, the only thing I thought of are TGIF laughs. I'm sure Joe's card curl, if he's still in here, thought the same thing. They deliberately spelled it that way. And I have those sitting right next to me, as is with all things. TGIF laughs cards, <laughs> the extras. So I put a set together, I sold a set, and I still have almost another set from one box, the box that keeps giving. So we have another itinerary in here. Six days of darkness, and this won't be last. Taco Bell gift card, dirty old gum. Appreciate you doing that, Paul. I know you don't have any help tonight. My kids are wondering what the hell I'm laughing at. <laughs> oh, that was glorious. Six Days of Darkness. Pack one. All right. I guess this is pack... Yeah, this is pack one. So this is referring to the six days when I was kicked off YouTube for no legitimate reason. That was what? Was that a month ago already? Sad times. So I'm going to go and unplug my phone, too, because I feel like it sounds like crap. Plug my mic back in, and then the black wheel of death or the wheel of death will come on and... No hear me or see me anymore all right pulse has been over a month first pack rumors were swirling people started to realize twas true tpia was gone <laughs> ron karkovice is on the phone trying to figure out what the hell was going on during these six days of darkness and in the beginning <laughs> What kind of coffee he's drinking there? If he's drinking coffee. I bet he, he spiked that coffee, if anything. Jim Rice does not want to believe it. That the rumors were now reality. Gilberto Reyes. 
Looks like he's questioning the narrative. I even told my son about you disappearing, was hoping you didn't die. <laughs> That's awesome. And they're talking about on the mound of Todd Froworth. Just does not want to believe that the channel was taken down. Harold Baines. He's just like, man, that is that's freaking messed up. They got no right to do that. And Nolan Ryan. <laughs> never seen a car where it looked like Nolan Ryan was going to cry. But on the first day of darkness, things were different. <laughs> that was a cool pack. Pack number two. The Six Days of Darkness sequel or series. Chris and Chris, what's happening, man? Pack two, somewhere like WTF, stunned or saddened. Is that Muppets? <laughs> I know Muppets had cards. Muppet trading cards from 1993. I used to love Muppets as a kid. I don't even know what character that is. Shame on me for not knowing. Is that Gonzo? Is that his name? Gonzo? Mark Leiter just looks very depressed. Stunned. John S. deserves so much thought out into this. Thought out into this. Much respect put into this. There definitely was, man. I thought that was Gonzo. Eddie Murray's reprint rookie card. It looks in disbelief. Mark Parent does not want to accept the news on day two. That it is gone. And Daryl Strawberry literally is about to throw a temper tantrum. <laughs> a temper tantrum unless TPIA is brought back from the darkness. And on to day number three. Day number three of darkness. Someone to help in a peaceful way. Talking, taking to Twitter... Boom Slang, Open BS Pack, even interviewed John on his YouTube channel. Some were getting prepared to hold benefit concerts. <laughs> Mo was just weeping for the, for the burn that the batter is about to feel. American Bandstand, the Captain and Tennille. I have seen these before, but it's been a while. 1993. Everyone coming together now. Blake Flake. Chrome Garbage Pail Kids. That's a good one, too. Cool and the Gang coming together. Benefit Concert. Love that. Yeah, Jersey. Sad Face Strawberry. Jersey's a strawberry collector. Brett Michaels. Benefit Concert. <laughs> I definitely have a bunch of these cards. I have like a 5,000 count box that's like full of these cards that was in a collection I bought. And Vanilla Ice. Oh, man. That is sweet. Vanilla Ice Rookie Card. 1991. That is freaking awesome. I know Vanilla Ice went on to be going to be like a rapper, I think. Gangster rap or something like that. Pack four. <clears throat> the question was, who the hell did this? There were many suspects. It's believed that John had a long-standing hate for many of these men and was overheard as even saying he didn't know why he hated them. Others were just declared omens. He even said that there are no good rookies in 1991. Unless you consider Phil Plantier a good rookie. Definitely referring to 1991 Donruss. I remember that exact video. Probably from a jam pack box or from a subscription box that I opened. There was a pack of 91 Donruss in there. Because I've not opened that product in a very long time since the rack case. That I'm sure Paul L. remembers when I opened an entire case of those that I bought for... I think I bought it for like 15 bucks at a mall card show like two or three years ago. And I was looking for an elite card. You can't even find elites in rack packs. <laughs> so yeah, that, that, that was a thing that happened a long time ago. It was awful. I scold myself for it. Phil Plantier rookie card leads us off though. Very fitting for that caption. Who is this? Jack McDowell, who has been declared an omen. Doesn't even freaking look like him. Amazing. He's got to be that vest. <laughs> Felix for men. Oh, I used to hate him, too. I don't even know why, but I hated him. Terry Pendleton hated him, too. Eric and I both hated him. Paul Goldschmidt. That's a nice one. The Topps Chrome 83 design refractor. Vaughn Hayes had nothing but hate for him and his butt chin back in 1990 at this time. Don't know why. I, just, I don't think I liked his name to begin with, so 
because of that. Absolutely hated him. Tom, Tom Hankey, of course, always looked like a dork, so pretty sure I didn't like him because of that. <laughs> Pat Kelly. Oh, that was a funny-looking card, too. And, of course, the man that we hated, probably the top five somewhere on that list, Hal Morris. Couldn't tell you why. Have absolutely no idea. John's number one enemy, Vaughn Hayes. <laughs> on to number five. Then there were the folks, the folks that said, screw peace, let's go bust ass and take back what is ours. It's a cavalcade of who's who of dangerous jokers that can make things happen. I even heard one guy had a team at the ready to go to YouTube headquarters and teabag every person in the building. <laughs> Oh, angry mob of teabaggers. The Boston Teabag Massacre. G.I. Joe art card. Some more of those. Whoever sent these packs. This is epic, VA Beach says. Scott R. is in the chat. We have another G.I. Joe art card for Joseph C. And the future video that is coming along with those. Chuck Finley. Looks like he's ready to go to war with headquarters. And Mickey Morandini, geez, there's a battle cry there. Who's that, Tony Fernandez? A suggestive pose. <laughs> Louis Polonia, <laughs> with his tongue sticking out. I don't know if it's the Bat Boy or his kid. I think it's a Bat Boy, trying to hold him back. Fisk, kind of looking like... <clears throat> he kind of looks like Tom Berenger in Major League a little bit in that uh, in that shot. A lot like him. I feel like Carlton Fisk always looked like Tom Berenger. Especially in those movies. And ironically enough, they're both catchers. A-team, ready to go to war. For TPIA, Ric Flair, of course. Saw his 86 Tops design earlier. And a more G.I. Joe cards. Very fitting. And to this pack, Larry Parrish's kid choking Polonia. <laughs> oh, freaking great. Second to last pack. Day six, boom slang pack. That's pretty awesome. Hidden in there. I feel like you should never have to explain yourself on the cook. That is true, Nick. That is true. It just it speaks for itself. Definitely speaks for itself. Pack six. In the end, it was none of the suspects named here. It was bots. Shake my head. No matter as quickly as TPI disappeared, it was back and everyone was celebrating. <laughs> and a celebration pack. The ending to the Six Days of Darkness. San Diego Padres team card out of 2021. Haven't seen that one before. It's pretty awesome. Tampa Bay. Adame celebrating there. Do it for the fans. I don't think I've seen any of these. I didn't open that much 2021 tops to begin with. Diamondbacks team card. <laughs> That's a funny one. Twins. Thought we would have saw that in a Twins pack a while back. Dab on them. Brewers team card walk off home run for Mike Yastrzemski. Buckos there taking the field and elbows only. Justin Upton and Mike Trout air high five. Freaking sweet. Everybody celebrating the return of my crap channel. <laughs> that was so, so well thought out, man. Wow. No wonder it took so long to put all this together because. You definitely went above and beyond with everything in here. And the final card of this pack is Wally Joyner. With a home plate slide that puts Trey Turner to shame. Looks like he's coming up short on home plate, actually. And his 86 tops, traded rookie card on the back. Freaking awesome surprises in there. Boom slang interview pack. Open this one, we'll do that one last, and then... We'll open the bubble mailer of mystery that I don't even know what's in that either. And then I'm going to eat this gum and go to bed. It looks like another Project 2020 card. I'm going to have to cut out of here. Let's see what's inside this old trusty sack. Bubble mailer for last pack. I missed that comment, but I'll do that next then. Thank you for pointing that out, Paul. It's the Mick. If Mark R is still in here... I'm not sure why that joiner's in there. I was kind of wondering about that. It was a little random. But uh, I still enjoyed it nonetheless. Mickey Mantle. Whoa, look at that. Have not seen that one before. And that is for sure 
freaking awesome artwork on that card. Wow. Andrew Thiel. Thiel Man, I'm not real familiar with, but a <laughs> trusty sack rip after dark. That is freaking awesome. So many awesome cards in here. That now makes five Project 2020 cards. Big Ray's ball card said, I'm here always, buddy. Thank you, Mark. Yeah, I figured that you would appreciate that. Mark R is a big Mickey Mantle collector. I threw a Mickey Mantle card at it. Wasn't, I didn't think you had in your package that's going out tomorrow. Just so you're aware. I don't know what Mickey Mantle stuff you have, but I try to throw it in there if I have it for you. Freaking epic, Scott. Absolutely epic. That is for Boom Slang doing the interview. Boom Slang is a big New York Yankees fan. As most of you probably know, Boom Slang's not here with us tonight. I know he live streamed earlier, but uh, that will be heading to the way of Boom Slang. And Scott also took the liberty of throwing in some extras. A wish book from 1992. You guys know how much I love these and love going back and looking at the old action figures and everything else in these years. So much cool stuff in here. Tin Can Alley. I had that game and I loved it even though it sucked. The baseball cards in 92. I want to say I did a video on this exact same book a while back. I know I did two or three of these videos. Um, I think I did 92 and I think we looked over the cards at one point. But freaking awesome. Love these wish books. 92, great year. Not so much a great year for cards, except for Bowman, of course. Of course. And also... Scott threw this on top. This <laughs> Miami Vice vinyl. Some pretty popular tracks on here. In the Air Tonight by Phil Collins. Tina Turner's on there. Jan Hammer. All kinds of good stuff for you fans of Miami Vice that remember this show from the good old years. Boom Slang was here briefly earlier. Pointed out an error card to you, but it rolled by quick. Yeah, I didn't see him. We'll be getting that Mickey Mantle. Boom Slang definitely helped out big time when it came to uh, sounding the alarm on me being taken off of YouTube. He was willing to do whatever it took to help me get back on there, so that was very, very cool of him. We'll open this one next, and we'll do that one last. I have no idea what's in here. Scott didn't tape this up, but he told me not to look in it, so Scout's on her. I didn't look in it. I have no idea what it is. Uh-oh. It's a COA. My battery is on 20%, but COA? What could it be? Oh, man. Whoa. This is freaking epic. Wow. This is so awesome. It's an autographed script. Ain't necessarily so. Of a real Ghostbusters. Or a real Ghostbusters script. That's actually autographed. With a freaking COA. Air date. August 13th. 1986. Or that was actually the final draft. The show didn't air until September 1986. So. Must have been from season one, ain't necessarily so. I can't remember that episode in particular, even though I have the whole series. But I don't have any scripts at all for real Ghostbusters. So this is so freaking awesome, man. And it has a COA with it. Big Ray's ball card says, holy guacamole. How freaking awesome is that? Wow. Jeez, Scott, I don't even have to say, man. Thank you so much, man. That is so freaking cool. Joe S. says it's a grail with a COA. Chris Weaver's in the house. Scotty Arm says that's Dave Coulier. Dave Coulier did the voice of Vankman after season three, I want to say, and I hated him for it. But uh, Peter's original voice was absolutely awesome. Wow, this is freaking sweet. Absolutely sweet. It is. It's signed by. I want to say it's signed by. It's signed by the voice of Vankman. I forget what his last name is. I always forget his last name. He actually passed away not that long ago. Um, it looks like it's signed by him. Let 
or Egon maybe even. Let me see here. Yeah, because it was Lorenzo Music originally did it. Maurice Lamarche, that's who it was. Caught R. Yep, that's exactly who it was. I was trying to make out that autograph, and that's who I thought it was, Lamarche. He actually passed away, I want to say, not that long ago. But um, that is freaking amazing. Yeah, he did the voice of Egon in the real Ghostbusters cartoon. Yeah, at first I was wondering if it was signed by Craig Miller and Mark Nelson, which even then it would still be freaking awesome. But, um, wow, that is absolutely epic. Thank you so much, Scott. I don't even know what to say, man. Beyond generous. Beyond generous. You gotta love this community. Ernie Waters says, plug your phone in. <laughs> Thanks for your reminder, man. Getting pretty low. That is absolutely epic, man. I use many Egon Spengler quotes in my fifth grade class. That is so cool. Gotta keep it alive forever. Thanks for the reminder, Ernie Waters. You're the man. Please check out Scott. Check out his product. I'm not gonna, I was gonna say package, but I'm not gonna say that because I know where that will lead. But check out his product. Link down below. Get yourself one of these mystery boxes, like the first one that I opened. This one was specially coordinated for me. Uh, yours one will yours will have um, all kinds of baseball cards, rookies, stuff like that. And these were more humorous than anything else, but there's still a lot of nice surprises inside. The last pack of tonight. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Scott. Once again, man. This pack is has to be a bar a bar of gold to top that. What is this? I love it when a plan comes together. Thanks, John. Check this out. <laughs> Hannibal Smith on the back. Freaking awesome. Here is what your completed red border picture will look like. That is absolutely awesome. Freaking epic way <laughs> to end it. Oh, man. I don't even know what to say, man. We got some packs, too. I'm not going to open these tonight, but holy crap, Scott. You definitely have outdone yourself. The A-team to end the night off. A very fitting end. That is freaking sweet, man. So much cool fun in there. Wow. And uh, a nice little dessert piece for later. 89 Tops gum mixed with 91 Bowen. But these extra packs, too. You know what? For good measure, before we take off, let's open... Two of these packs real quick. See if we can get ourselves an iconic rookie card on 91 Bowman. Domingo Mota. Gone yay. Steve Finley. <laughs> Joe Carter. I forgot about that Joe Carter 94 Pinnacle we saw earlier. It was so epic. Bannister, Gonzalez Leonard, and Stan Spencer. Scar says, I, we appreciate you, John. I appreciate y'all buying my boxes. They definitely were popular. Check them out if you haven't already. The Hobby Box. Scotty Arms says, thanks for the Scott. Such a fun night. That was awesome. I apologize for the giant mess that you had to endure. There's a nice gum stain for that pack. Gil Hodges reprint. See if we can find ourselves a Griffey in this final pack of the night. It's probably unlikely, but you never know. Always worth trying. Ken Phelps, even better. Trying to hide his face so that he could avoid further ridicule. And Alvin Davis to end that pack. I'm going to save these ones for a future rip or just to send off to people here and there. Scott R says, this was about you, not about buying my boxes. I know it was, man. I know it entirely was um, as like a thank you for originally opening your box. And I appreciate that. You did not have to do that. Uh, you definitely did an amazing job, man. So, um, But please, check out Scott's boxes nonetheless, because I think you will enjoy them if you like mystery packs and things of that nature. Uh, the feedback seems to be freaking awesome. So many awesome cards came out of those boxes tonight. I want to thank you guys all for sticking with me while I went through all those. I know it's been two hours now. Wow, that really flew by very quickly. I hope to have a video for you guys tomorrow night. Check out the link down below. Grab yourself a holly box. And post your hits online. Freaking epic, epic package, Scott. Tomorrow night, I'll have Best of Both Worlds jam packs for you at some point. It won't be live. It'll be a standard video. And then Wednesday, should be back for an auction. But thank you guys all again. Thank you, Scott. Wow. Just blown away by 
everything there. Um, <laughs> that's it for tonight, guys. Uh, thanks again. I will see you all next time.